This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Well, welcome. Welcome to Your Mom's House with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to Your Mom's House. It's simple. Your biological sex and your gender identity are not tied to one another. It's it's not that complicated. It's not. It's not. And if you're out there and you're you don't understand what I'm saying, when you look between your legs, it has nothing to do with how you identify. And if that is too rich of a concept for you, well, <laughs> ta-ta there, return. <laughs> there you go. Tom, what, are you fluid today? What are you feeling your gender No, is? I mean, I, I have, you know, I'm, I'm a man. I'm a male. And, Always, uh, though? Come on, not everybody's 100% male all the time. That's true, but I mean, like right now, I am today. Hmm. Today I am, but it's also the beginning of the day. Could go anywhere. That's what I'm saying. You don't yeah. know where your gender will take you. That's the wonderful part about this. Being fluid. Yeah. You and I are both fluid and we're polyamorous. Mm-hmm. We're pansexual. Mm-hmm. We're asexual. Mm-hmm. We're in a thruple. Yeah. We're doing everything. I fuck a lot. I fuck a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And uh, I'd prefer if you didn't refer to me as she from now on. Oh, okay. I'm it. It. All right. Okay. You got it. You got it. And um, I don't know. I feel like if you don't get that, you don't get this show. You know, <laughs> this is a show about educating people. Well, check your privilege, Tom. Yeah. You're a cisgendered white male. I know. You need a lot of privilege in that beard of yours. No, there is. There is. I'm not, I mean, I'm not unaware of that. There is a lot of privilege and it feels good. I'm, you know? I'm sure it does, actually. Mm-hmm. But not now. And now you have to share your privilege with others. Yeah, that's gonna be bum. Does that bum you out thinking about bit, that? A little bit. I'm like, oh, you're not, you're not represented. Yeah, mm, yeah. yeah but <clears throat> does it anger you to see all this diversity? No, no, I'm cool with it. I'm cool. With, you know, I used to. Don't forget, I used to. My parents used to force me to go to another country every summer. Yeah. And yeah. So I'd be around all the brownies, and I'd be like, <laughs> all right, I get it. This is another. There's other people out there, but you yeah. know, you deal. Right. You deal with it. You deal with it. Yeah. I mean, they're all over LA. Everywhere I go, I'm like, there, you're not white. You're not white. You know? <laughs> How bummed do you think my dad is? Because I feel like he is legit Your dad, bummed about diversity. If, if he were listening right now, he'd be like, Tommy's making a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> he would not pick up that there's any joke there. He'd be like, no that's what jokes. I'm saying. That's what I've been saying. That's what I'm telling you. I've been saying this. This is bullshit. It's bullshit. It used to be nice. It used to be white. Look around. <laughs> 100%. And, but he justifies it. He's like, it's not that I'm racist against others. I just like things. Everybody acts the same. Yeah. It looks the same. It's easier. It's easier. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable when everyone's not white, you know? Yeah. 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 It's better. It's for his comfort that everybody looks and acts the same. <laughs> when he got back, he, I don't, you remember it's been a long time now, yeah. but he got back from that That's trip. Uh, he went to Hungary. Yeah. And he was like, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy right now. Things are going very far right. People yeah. are talking about the Jews. Yeah. Right? And we were like, no shit. And he was like, yeah, talking about how they're a problem. We were like, whoa. He's like, but you know, <laughs> you know, they've got a point, you know? <laughs> and we were like, what? <laughs> He's like, it's true. I like the Jews, but I like, I like, kind but of annoying. Yeah. It's, it's a problem. It's a problem. You know? Mm-hmm. You know what's so funny is when my stepfather was racist, he was from India. Yeah. And he was the most racist of everybody in my family. That is, by the way, a fucking television show. I know. Oh my gosh. Like Should an we do Indian it? guy. Indian ish. An, an Indian <laughs> guy. <laughs> the like next one. Off the boat. Not like born in India. <laughs> right. And just like came over at 25 or 30. He came over at 30. Yeah. So yeah. he's an Indian guy who's like, ugh. <laughs> like, yeah, he's, he's God, there's so many Indians. Indian people everywhere. <laughs> They're so fucking stinky. <laughs> no fucking curry, no curry farts everywhere. He had, he was like, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Ex- 100%. He was exactly like but he, that. He felt that 
because he donated a lot of money to the Republican Party. Yeah, so he was like, I earned it. He I'm, basically, he felt that if you were at a high enough socioeconomic level in this country that you bought yourself into being a white guy. And in a lot of ways, he's not wrong. Yeah. Because, you know, he, but he had a framed picture of the last five Republican presidents in his office. They gave it to him. That is always so much money. such an alarming choice to put up photos of presidents. <laughs> I don't care which party you align yourself with and you're like, just got the presidents on my wall. Know, it's I'm so like, weird. Okay. You care? That's your favorite thing no. to put up? The president? You know what my favorite thing is? Is when you see people who make their houses look like the White House. Yeah. Like when you drive through a There's wealthy, a few of those, yeah. <laughs> in LA, there's people that love to live in the White House. Yeah. Like, what do you do? They do their knockoff version of <laughs> the, the White House. The columns in the uh -huh. front, they're like, who are you? Oh, well, you know what it is. It's a fucking egomaniac. It's a megalomaniac who's like, yeah. who's like, uh, and then if, especially if they don't acknowledge it, if they're like, it, yeah, I mean, I guess it kind of looks like the White House. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, it's so weird. You, you decided to buy the president's house? I like, know. <laughs> okay. Full on columns, white. And then there's always like the super patriot. We have a super patriotic neighbor that oh, likes to have the, like an official U.S. flag flying in his front yard, which is great. I love America. Yeah, but I'm he very doesn't, pro. It's not on like the, like sometimes you see the house with, the flag off of the awning kind of thing. Yeah. This is its own <laughs> it's centerpiece <laughs> with a 50 foot pole yeah. and lights. Yeah, and he he's, just, he's just like, <laughs> it's like, dude, it's, it's, he's it's, out there taking it down when it's raining and folding. Like, what do you, it's just too much work to have a real flag flying. How are you that committed? Man? <laughs> I am. I, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, no, I love, you know, I love living here and stuff, but it's like, oh, this is the best place to live. And we know that because we've been watching 90 Day Fiance the other way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And we're, we played this game last night. Like, where would you rather live? Where would you least rather live? <laughs> right. The, the pig village in Ecuador. Mm hmm. Or India, just all of India, Delhi. There's Delhi, Dubai. Qatar. Qatar, Qatar is develop, pretty developed. No, I know, but I'm saying, I'm, I'm mentioning just, just the countries no on the show. No fucking, as a woman, I, forget Qatar. I took I've been the, there. It's the pig fish dicey. village. I, that's where I would go in Ecuador. You know why? Because it's like geographically, it's still, it's closest it's to Latin. home. It's Latin. There's a Judeo-Christian foundation. <laughs> As my dad would say. I'm going to go down the list. That's the thing about the Asians. <laughs> they're wild. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah. Because they're not Judeo-Christian. Yeah. Buddy, the things the Japs <laughs> would do in the war. <laughs> are unspeak. They're not like us. Anyway, go ahead and give me a Diet Coke. <laughs> so. But, uh, the, you know, you make a good point. I would say living conditions. The worst one is the pig village in Ecuador. There's, n it's nothing but dirt. It was pretty and, bad. And pigs were literally running around and malaria. But then again, she was the hottest. She's the hottest one of the. Yeah. So then it's like, do you live amongst pig <laughs> shit for a hot girl? <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a lot of vaccines he needs to take. But he, he takes the malaria pill every such day. Such a pussy. <laughs> and and she knows it. She's like, you're half a fag. So yeah. I don't oh, know. she takes advantage yeah. of him. Yeah. You're not going to let me go home without money, are you? Yeah. Catch my camera through the fence, you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the thing. Qatar, they don't respect women, especially a, a fair herd like me. Oh, I would hell be no. kidnapped, that you can't sold go. to the sultan. You can't go. I would be. I dyed my hair dark when I went to the Middle East. There's, a, there's places in the world where you just got to be like, I'm not going. Be, I'm yeah. definitely not going because I'm a woman. Yeah. I definitely oh, yeah. I, I would get snatched up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And gang raped by a bunch of guys in <laughs> chic outfits Christ. or whatever. Yeah. They wear those white robes. You can see through And those them are, by the way, summertime. those are the countries that um, right now in the world, afterwards, you would get arrested and then stoned for getting raped by all those guys. I know. They blame you. Yeah. They're you like, made me rape you. They're like, you whore. <laughs> all these men got to rape you, you fucking whore. <laughs> I know. And then people are like, Wow, what a bunch of savages and people are like, how dare you talk about them? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the, that's the neat part about today's climate is yeah. that, yeah, we're, we're the assholes because we're yeah, not being for inclusive. For calling out of, yeah. <laughs> the rape village. <laughs> I mean, 
The Taliban. Yeah. No, yeah. Like they're scum fuck. Yeah, like the Taliban. It's the worst. Would do that. Taliban the Taliban would do that shit. These yeah. whores came by and made us fuck yeah. them. And we stoned them all to death. Yeah. Now, hold on. India, no, I don't have many rights there either. I don't know if you don't have rights there. Do I you? mean, I'd have to be married. I'd have to be wiped up, right? I don't, I don't know. I As can't white woman, comment I don't on know. it, really, because I don't know the Indian culture that well. But you'd have diarrhea all the time. Mm, yeah, but all you'd adapt. All the time. You'd adapt. I don't know. I hear that deli belly is a real deal. <laughs> It's called Delhi Belly. It's a true thing. Yeah. When when uh, the tourists go over there, it's called Delhi Belly. And that shit is real. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. That's a visit. But I'm saying if you were to move there. Oh, my God. Could you, know you imagine? I mean? After a month, you'd be like, dude, this shit doesn't <laughs> even make me fart anymore. I just adapted. <laughs> I weigh like 80 pounds. It's awesome. All right. Listen. Should we do something? Yeah. <laughs> this episode of uh, Your Mom's uh, House is brought to you by Manscaped, who is number one in men's below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. I got to tell you, it is modern times, and you just cannot be one of these am animals that goes unkempt below the belt and lets the wilderness grow yeah. around your twig and berries. Mm. You've got to shape it. You've got to pull it back. Otherwise, you're just setting it up so that a nice lady or a cool guy is huh, always huh, yeah. huh, 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 pulling hairs off their tongue when they should be just enjoying themselves down there. You know what I mean? Oh my God. I have trimmed up. I've forgotten to trim up. And then you've been like, do you have a vagina? And <laughs> it's important. I'm you just do, saying. You can't get hairy. I'm a hairy guy. Yeah. And I love this stuff. I love it. Look, I love a haircut. I love a beard trim. And I love a ball trim. And Manscaped offers the best products to keep it snug and tight around the bean bag and also the ding dong. I'm a big fan. Manscaped is forever changing the grooming game with their Perfect Package 2.0. Inside the Perfect Package, you'll find the electric trimmer. Um, called the Lawnmower 2.0, waterproof and skin safe technology will protect you from nicking your sack. You can also create less mess by trimming in the shower. That's the best. Oh, and then yeah. you just send those hairs down the drain. Oh, I know. And our <laughs> cleaning lady pulls out a fur jacket. To get to those hard to reach places, you'll find the plow inside. The plow is a single blade razor that will prevent razor bumps. Also good on the taint. And of course, let's not forget about the Crop Preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. You already put deodorant on your armpits. Why not put them, put deodorant on the smelliest part of your body, under your sack and between your ding dong and your bag? It's time to get clean with this perfect package 2.0. Get 20% off free, plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. Always use the right tools for the job. Your balls will thank you. Again, Get 20% off and free chip, free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use our code word MOM. That's M-O-M. Thank you, Manscaped. I had a dream about your uh, hog last night. Yeah? And it was trimmed up. And it was really nice. That's Manscaped. I know. You do. Yeah. You do trim your... Manscaped's in our dreams now. <laughs> you ready to start the show? Ta-ta there, retard. I've been saying it all week. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. I like how you guys are like, oh, we don't joke about that stuff on, on this show. Oh, like I'm the only one that likes ta ta there, retard. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ta ta there, retard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm not trying to host the Emmys. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm not trying to get on SNL. I'm not trying to do any kind of corporate work. I already know that is long gone for me. It is this show and stand up. That's all I'm doing. Let's do it. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Here we go. We got this $20 bill. He's going to be like Ozzy Osbourne and take a bite off this rat's head. $20 right now, nigga. What? He's a big oh, one. Don't bring anyone mother to this. Yo, mama in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Vajitsin. <laughs> Christina Vajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house.
this feels like it might be an instant classic clip. Um, <laughs> a man was presented with the overwhelming offer of $20 <laughs> to bite the head off of a dead rat. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he goes just like Ozzy. Yeah, that was like a bird, wasn't it? No, it was a bat. Oh, was it a bat? I'm pretty sure he bit a bat. It was a bat. Oh. I mean, look. That's also revolting. Right, guys? Yeah, it was a bat. Wasn't it alive? Yeah. It was different, too. Mm -hmm. It was different. And then Potter says he, he bit the head off, off a dove as well. That's what I was saying. I, I remember the dove. Cool. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> the symbol of peace. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful thing to do. Um, yeah, this guy, I mean, also, I, this is, again, privilege, but... When you even entertain twenty dollars to do something like this, I'm like, who who is being like twenty? Mm, <laughs> all of it. And the thing too is that that is not a fresh rat. No, That's it's a, very dead. It's been yeah. around for a minute. It's smushy because I pick yeah. up dead rats on our and it's hard. Like it's you know you can you can see that it, its body isn't it's, flailing. It's, it's hard and it's been mushed because I pick up dead rats on our property a lot because we poison the shit out of them, which is awesome. And like when they're fresh, I have nothing I love more than finding a dead rat. But when they're kind of freshly dead from the night before, they're still intact. Yeah. And they're they're stiff, but yeah. there's there's a little bit of weight to them. They'll give. But that yeah, that thing's been mashed and it's got like dirt on it and stuff. It's really it, disgusting. I would not bite that rat. Now this guy who's considering it looks like somebody you could walk up to and offer twenty dollars <laughs> to do something, and he doesn't get mad. You know, like most people. It's grateful. If you were like, <laughs> I'll give you twenty dollars to bite the head off this dead rat, yeah. I'd be like, "Fuck you!" Like you know, it's yeah, so it's insulting. Insult. This guy's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, plus he doesn't have many teeth. Well, there's always a tooth count, and that's how you can tell who you can ask that to. <laughs> when right away you're like, "There's a lot of missing teeth," then you can do that. Like if that's yeah. one of your instant summaries. That's your bargaining. Somebody. Your bargaining yeah. chip is what you're saying. Absolutely. You go into the deal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Oh, boy. Here we He's go. going to do it? Mm. Oh, shit. Take a bite out of it and just rip his head off. Like, oh, spit it right through the garbage. Can't do it. Yeah, you can. All right. Bite his leg off. I don't care. It's dead. See? Yeah, he did. It's really oh, dead. Man. That thing's been dead for a while. He just broke, he broke its leg. Yeah, it's really dead. And also, too, I don't know if he's aware rats carry diseases. Uh, they've been known to carry <laughs> one or two. Yeah, just a little thing called the plague. Yep. May not yep. want to put that in your mouth or touch it, and then touch your mouth. I mean, we could call a doctor just to make sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure. I read about sure. this because when I pick up dead rats on our on our in our backyard and stuff, yeah, I put on black latex gloves and then I take out two hefty bags. I open one, I take out the other hefty bag, I put my hand in that, pick up the rat. Yeah. Put it in the other. So I literally have about three or four oh, barriers of plastic. Yeah. And then I wash my hands quickly up. Like yeah. that's how sterile I am. I that's love that though. Just that touching it. This guy's instinct is correct. The guy being offered the twenty dollars is like, mm. <laughs> I don't know about that twenty. I don't know. But he's contemplating it. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's still in the. <laughs> he's like, I got six teeth. That's twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what see. do you think he's gonna Come on. spend it on? Just bite the head off. We gotta get back to work, baby. We ain't going to work. All right, well, hurry up. Just grab him by his leg and just bite his head off real quick. Yeah. Oh, it's so urgent. Look, that's Danielle's face right oh there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at yeah. the rat's mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a lot of, like, fungus on the I'm gonna, fur. I'm going to get sick watching this. I just real like. Its mouth is open. Yeah. Because when they die, their mouths are open like that. Okay. That's true. Oh, shit. Look at those little Come teeth. on, man. How much you going to cost? Are you another ten? Another ten, ten. right now. Ten. Uh, I, I I do it for. I give you another twenty. That's forty. Whoa! Oh, you wow. gotta rip that motherfucker's head off, though, bro. If you don't rip it off, it's over with. Well, I get my money back. Hold that motherfucker, man. Forty dollars, uh, Tom. How much are you going for to do uh, this? Be real, and I want you to be real. Let's be real. How much are you doing this for? A hundred dollars. No. One. Hundred U.S. dollars. <laughs> what? <coughs> Hundred and ten U.S. dollars. Oh God. Okay. What about a thousand U.S. dollars? No, of course not. Of and course a dove? not. A thousand. I mean, we're getting in the ballpark. I think. Yeah. To no. take just to bite the head off. You don't have to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you can, you can spit it out. out. You can spit it. You out. You can spit out the head. You just have to bite it off. 
Yeah, I mean, like, look, would I do it for a thousand? No. Would I do it for close to a thousand? Probably. Yeah. Like, like I think, like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does Annie have a price? You have a price? No, there's no Annie, amount of money. Let's yeah. be real. One million dollars. Oh, I'm yes. had, I'm offering you one million dollars. Oh, you're oh definitely why dead. would you do that? No, because I know. it's a so million dumb. dollars. Yeah, of yes, course. Would. Of course. Everybody would. All right, fine. Yeah, a million yeah. fucking dollars. Jesus Christ, I'd be fucking pissed at you though. Yeah. I'd yeah. probably fight you afterwards, but at yeah. least I got the million. Yeah. yeah. Millions a lot. And then someone would be like, "How'd you make this million dollars, man?" And you'd be like, "My dumb boss." <laughs> I just say I don't want to talk about it. Should we start a Kickstarter for this? Oh, no way, dude. <laughs> but here, okay, I got a question for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Thirty-eight thousand dollars in cash. <laughs> is this a real offer? <laughs> Are you really offering this? I mean, I'm just saying, would you entertain that? What 38 is kind of arbitrary, Tom. I know it is. N uh, no, th 38? No, no, no. Wow. No, no, what? No, no, no. I just want to. No. It's Annie, a lot of money. That's no. a lot of money. No. That's a that's year's salary for a lot of people, dude. Not me. <laughs> 38,000 and a dove, easy. You would do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. He was down for a thousand. Yeah. Oh, wait, now would Potter oh, do it Potter for Potter would do it for free. No. Potter would do it for the show. I'm just saying. I'm having a hard time with this one. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I can't even look at it. <laughs> uh, I would cry in attempting doing it. I don't know that I could do it. Though. What about 8,427? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too low. What? No. It is. Really? Yeah, you I don't know do if it. you know my cameos. Pop. Oh, that's right. Are you still doing them? They come in every now and again. And what's your price now? It's a hundred dollars. Wow. <laughs> wow. So when you said a hundred dollars, I was like, I mean, I'd put the fat or the wrap between my toes. Oh, for a hundred dollars. What about that shoulder hair? Could you put it on your shoulder? I'd make it dance a little. Uh, yeah. shoulder hair. I'm not gonna eat it though. You just have All to right. bite the head off. You're not eating it. I would really like if everybody no. please watch the screen for this next clip. Oh, shit. Please. All right. I can't. Looks like our man just wiped his mouth like he's getting his mouth ready. <laughs> let's see if he does He's it. ready, but he okay. doesn't have the teeth to bite. Well, let's, we're going to find It's stiff. It. It's going to be crunchy like a Frito. It's going to crunch <sighs> like a pork rind. Watch. Just watch. It's going to be go. easy. All right. It's going to be an easy No! Go! Go! <laughs> <laughs> Get my money back, nigga! Wow. Why do you have to go big words at the end again? Uh, you know what it reminds me of? You know when you go to sushi and you order the Ama Ebi sweet shrimp and then they fry the heads for you? Yeah. That's exactly what that's, that's like. That's right. And it it's delicious. It sounded like it. It's delicious. That's delicious. Tempura. That I would do for less than a million. I don't know that I here's the deal, man. I don't know if I would have done the rat teeth up, like the open mouth. That was stupid. I would have done it teeth down. I don't know. I did road rules. I feel like this All is right. not that crazy. I'm like, the I the more that I even is, think about that, I want to fucking throw up. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Rats are just nasty. They are. They're nasty. Mm. Okay. Mm. Fucking gross, man. Yeah. Are you okay? What about cockroaches? Remember um, when Joe would host Fear Factor? And I, that was always the hardest one for me to watch is people eating cockroaches. Cockroaches, yeah. I would rather take the head off of that thing than eat a cockroach, a live cockroach, though. What would you rather do? Oh. I hate it when they eat cockroaches. Man, show. this show's going to make me sick for the first time, I think. <laughs> I guess I would... Um, <laughs> okay. I guess I would, yeah, maybe the dead thing over the, the live roach. Yeah, that's gross. I can't do that. Cause I, I can't. I always remember that, and Joe would be like, it's squishy. Like when they bite it and the, the, like the bug juices would squirt out. Oh, that was so hard to watch. And that was for a million, right? <sighs> no, fuck no. <clears throat> Wasn't back then, huh? No, they give people thousands of dollars. Yeah. Like for that, isn't that hilarious? That people did that for like ten thousand dollars. Crazy. <laughs> I would never do that shit, man. What are we talking about? No, road rules. We never had to eat anything nasty. We just had to do dangerous stuff. Like we had to like 
go to the crocodile farm and mm-hmm. put bags on crocodiles' heads and stuff. Yeah. And it was terribly dangerous, actually, <laughs> looking back. You know what you asked me the other day, by the way? You were what like, did I ask you? You were like, who the fuck buys hotel room mm-hmm. porn? Yeah, because I was staying the other night in a hotel. Yep. And I noticed they still offer pornography. But you know how the economy works, right? Tell me. Well, uh, if if people Supply weren't buying it, yeah, they wouldn't <laughs> be on there, man. So it's definitely... Uh, I think the biggest thing is probably there's a lot of dudes who, especially like the working, you know, the traveling businessman. Yeah. Who probably doesn't get to watch it at home, like because of their setup, you know? Like, right, right. The kids, the, kids, the, wife, the wife, how do so I? So I think that's probably the biggest <laughs> buyer is he like, oh, finally, big tip patrol. And then he, you know. But then wouldn't you just uh, put it up on your device? It's free. You can get it for free on the interwebs. Different experience. (laughs) To lay back on the, see it on the big screen, (laughs) hear the sounds. The theater experience. Yeah, man. That's a totally different experience. I never thought of it that way. Now, can you purchase hardcore pornography or just the bullshit? But here's what I've found. I've only, I've probably ordered hotel room porn, I would say twice in 10 years because I'm like you where, you know, there's the internet on my phone, on my computer, but the times that I've done it, here's what's the bummer, right? You go, oh, it's a orgy house party. And you're like, yeah. great, I'll kind of like skim through and what it finds. It'll be like one long scene. The, mo- the movie will be- 60 minutes of one of like thing? Everybody's arriving and then they're like, hey, let's party. And then you're like, all right, there's these three girls with these. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll see this. And then it's like you're, you're fast forward. You're like, they're still blowing them? Jesus, it's been 25 Do minutes. You, but don't remember like in softcore, they kind of loop the same thing over and over. Is no. that what they're doing? Like looping the same? No, it's, I mean, it's a hardcore scene for sure. You see vagine. You see everything. You see jizz. It's you see everything. It all. Yeah, yeah. But it's just <laughs> like they, on the internet, it's like short attention span. Right. And I think in the hotel room, they're like, this is it. You're saying you get the story. You get the character work. You get get the acting. Layers. You get layers. (laughs) Yeah. And look, it's a good, it's a good thing. If you're, if you're pro porn, it's good because you're actually putting money into the business. Oh, right. Good right? thing. <laughs> I didn't think about that. No, it's true because want to support like support the sex work. Well, that's but the, that's one of their <coughs> top complaints about like tube sites and stuff sure. is that they're like, you know, we're not getting paid for this. So It's eroded the whole economy of pornography. It has. There, remember when you used to be able to go to the Pussycat Theater in LA and watch porn in a movie theater? I didn't do that. Me, seems cr- I never are you kidding me no but I definitely I went um how do you to, sit through an entire feature film in public but I remember <laughs> uh, weird I got a video I got like a DVD from a store before a DVD know? from a store yeah like a porn yeah, DVD. yeah everyone yeah, did that yeah. One. Yeah, and cool. that was a thing and then you were supporting the business though too yeah, like from right. a business standpoint but once the internet was like don't fucking buy it <laughs> uh yeah. you know, I don't well, know with music too music got music got sabotaged yeah. but um but I'm just thinking, like, how crazy would it be, like, in that movie Taxi Driver, when he takes her the date, they go to the movie, oh my the God. porno movie. He's so crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like, want to go to a movie? <laughs> such a maniac. <laughs> and then she's like, um, and he's like, huh? Like, like he's uh, he's such a psycho that he doesn't yeah. register. Yeah. He's like, what? Oh, you're upset? Jesus. All right. I could see you doing that to me when we sure. were dating. Going to the porno movie. First date? Like, yeah. Like, you ready to go to a movie? Yeah. Could you imagine how many guys are just jerking it though in that theater? Like they're all jerking it, right? Yeah, I probably would used to be much more acceptable to jerk it. I'm sure there was probably like tissues back then, like on the yeah in the aisles. But <laughs> I think in today's world, it's Suck. a little bit more frowned upon. You know? No. Yeah. Remember when Pee Wee Herman's career got destroyed because he jacked it? Yeah. In a movie. But I mean, he movie. jacked it in a porn. He didn't jack it at a Disney movie. I know. You know, it's one thing it's if you're jacking during The Lion King, but if you're at a porn. Yeah, you're you can't supposed be, to be. You can't be that upset. Like, I know. What's this guy doing? He's jacking off at a yeah, porno. His life got ruined. Yeah. Well, interesting. I didn't even look at the hotel pornography options. No? I just assumed they would be inferior to the quality that I could receive on my regular tube sites. Yeah. Because remember that time we went on vacation and we we ordered some feature films? We were on the cruise. Was it a cruise ship? And it was softcore? Oh, yeah. And I called down. <laughs> <laughs> to complain i called the like the concierge because <laughs> we were like what is this don't they and have was, regular uh, porn what is it he was filipino he was he goes <laughs> oh oh <laughs> i go sir 
I bought a movie. Yeah. yeah. And I go, <laughs> yeah. There's, it's not, it's soft core. You don't get to see any <laughs> penetration. He goes, oh, okay. Oh. I go, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see, you know, like when it goes in and out, <laughs> I want to see hardcore. And he was like, oh yeah. <laughs> How did I want to say it? Yeah. And, and then he, he like it. asked around. Yeah. He asked around. He was like, okay, no charge. <laughs> And then one time we stayed in the Dominican Republic. That was. That was awesome. And just on our regular TV in our room was channel 69. 69. Yeah, it was channel 69. Yeah. And it was 24 <laughs> seven hardcore porn. Oh, so and I told other dads about it at the pool and they're like, I don't get that channel. Yeah, I guess we just got lucky. We got lucky. Like they unscrambled it for our room. And then they gave us a questionnaire on the way out. <laughs> what was the best part of your vacation here? And I wrote channel 69. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Channel 69. Channel 69. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But speaking of 69, I can't believe. So, uh, I mean, I don't know how much Josh is going to let me tell about his life, but let's just put it this way. Josh gets laid. Yeah, Josh gets laid. And like, not that he's so delightful as a human, but I'm like, what's the game? Like, how is Josh getting so laid? I think that... he was getting laid before he was on your mom's house, correct? Yeah, yeah, he's been getting laid. But I also think that, like, you know, the older you get, the more comfortable you get with yourself, and the, and the less... Like, when you're a young man, most of the time you're freaked out by women, right? And, like, the prospect of... Like, it's, it's intimidating. But the older you... Like, he's... He's taking way more at bats. He's just, I think he's just more comfortable. Am I wrong? No? No, I mean, uh, when I was younger, I was like, they want nice guys. Yeah. And I did all that garbage. <laughs> yeah. Not to say that I'm an asshole now or yeah. anything, but I understand uh, how to slow play that a little bit. Like, uh, let's not buy flowers on the first date kind of thing. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Right. But you don't know that when, like... Unless, I wish I did know that. I Holy know. shit, the hair I had back then, too, I would have been fucking. Oh, yeah. my God. I know. Such a waste. So yeah. what is, like, the Potter approach, though? Yeah, what are you doing? I don't... I, I wish I could give you a concise answer in terms of uh, what I'm doing, because I'm just as... When Christina said it to me the other night, she's like, you're getting laid at so much. How are you doing it? And I'm like, I know. Isn't this wild? You know? But yeah. uh, I'd like to think that it's uh, my unbelievable charm is uh overcoming but do you my try because here's you know what i mean like the the do you try to get laid well what i'm trying to say like do you does it register that like you're trying or like, do, you do you just initiate you know what i, mean? I or, think so i mean i think honesty and being cut and dry about it all is pretty good you like know? What, yeah. do you, what does that mean you're like do you want to sleep with me i make like, it pretty say- aware that i'm not here for friendship yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you do that overtly or is it like something that somebody would have I guess to? it's a case by case issue. Like uh-huh. some of them you like just lay it down so they pick it up, you know? Yeah. And then some you're like, hey, by the way, I want to fuck, right? You know? And then. What? You don't say that necessarily. You say it in so many words. Wait, mm. what do you say? Okay. Here's the I thing. wish I, I'm trying to conjure up an okay, example. Okay. 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 Josh, because I, I think what's working for you uh-huh. is that you seem safe. Yeah. You seem like a guy who you're not going to you're not going to dick me over. Well, I think the thing is, if I were to dick you over, you'd be like, OK, so what? Right. So there's that, <laughs> you know, right. Like no big loss. Yeah. There's no skin in the game for the girl. You no, know? That it's like, piece I'm, of shit didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all upside, baby. You know, like uh-huh. uh, yeah. when you get in at the ground floor like this, it's all <laughs> it's all upside. Yeah. It's like tough I, to disappoint when they come in at this. You know what I'm saying? Like, plus, I think there's something. There's a sweetness to Josh. Yeah, where you'd be like, I could see like you want to help him out. You're like, he's not gonna come well, in my nice. face. Yeah, you know? like he's yeah. not gonna do anything <laughs> shitty to you. You're yeah. like, I don't want to say charity, but I, I think it's like a. Well, you do get a good sense of yourself if you're with me. You're like, hey, I'm not a shallow bitch after all. You know, I'm with this guy. You have you amazing f- perspective on this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, listen, so. you're, you're smart, you're uh, attractive. Yes, you're... it takes some digging in to find some redeeming qualities, but they're there. <laughs> they're definitely there. But don't you feel like part of it, too, though, is the thing where, you know, when you're younger, you might go like, I, I shouldn't even be having this conversation with you. And that now you're like, like you're, you're not as uh, wowed or, you know what I mean, thrown off by the girl that's talking to you. Oh, sure. I mean, it takes it's. 
I'm not going to be very impressed with mo- most things. That's like what that. I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. So mm. it's like I kind of like, hey, this is fun. If, if I don't, I don't, I'm not affected by rejection anymore. Interesting. Yeah. So it's really a numbers game at the end of the do day. Do you take a lot of swings then? Like, Hell yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I take, I, I swing at every pitch outside the zone, curveballs, <laughs> slurves. I'm all over the place. All right? I love this guy. And this is what I'm, I'm excited to film our new documentary, Josh Potter fucking in Europe. And what's going to happen is I will be the director of this film. I'm yeah. going to get, I guess I'll get to watch you in action. I wonder how good I'd be in Europe though. It scares me because I have to use the English language to overcome my shortcomings. Do you know what I'm Dude, saying? Like I think, conversation? can I tell you something? I think you are going to be the exotic desirable there because Ooh. you're a foreigner. You're going as an entertainer. Yes. Yeah. You're putting on the shows. You're going to have maybe everybody laugh. And then they'll be like, mm, you leave now? And you'll be like, yeah, I'll leave in a few hours. But I can still, you know, anal is still an option. <laughs> and then he just dumps it in there. Enough butt. time for a couple of <sighs> Anyways, beagers, you know? I think what's, you're right. Your conversation skills are good because you actually listen to women. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really novel. Like, I don't think a lot of men really listen to what women say. And I think that's your strong suit. But I'm curious what your approach is to like being direct. So do you like you throw it in kind of cat like okay we're at I we're at, we're at um what restaurant uh, are we Dave at? and Buster's we're at yeah, Dave that's and Buster's a good <laughs> and we're having nachos and are you know what I mean and well and what I'll I've be been like, very fortunate enough in recent months uh, with is that the woman is often very direct too uh, you know they oh. come into the scenario going like I know what's going on you know what I'm saying like so she's like. She's like, so do you want to go back to my place and eat nachos? Or I don't Listen, know. Listen, I've 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 been up against it in so many ways where it's like I have to knock down the door, like battering ram, knock it down, like try to get in there and fuck. What's <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ? That's a woman that's on a date with Josh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when it's a scenario where I'm the person that's pursuing them. I have to like go th- jump through a bunch of hoops and stuff like that. It, and so when I get the green light right away, it's like, oh boy, this is. Oh, so right when they're like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm down too. You're like, oh, this is. Oh, a, right. Yeah. yeah. Then it really doesn't take much after that point. How now, much of it is, but, is centered around your comedy? You know what I mean? All every 100%. Yeah. Wow. That's that's what he did. See, wow. he's lucky in that he found a skill, that, something he's great at. And yeah, because like you're attractive. Can, it's basically, you should be advising the guys out there who are like i need to i want to be like it's basically find that skill set right yeah i think if you you, i think if you ascend to a level that is like elite in any profession that you're in you start getting pussy thrown at you i mean my dad ran an old country buffet (laughs) and he started getting (laughs) pussy thrown at him so (laughs) i mean shit (laughs) women love power (laughs) yeah exactly yeah Mm -hmm. Mm (laughs) <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but like, do you do you do lines? Are you like I don't like, have lines? Oh, oh, I'm not fuck! A, I'm not I don't a know. fucking fag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like I'm trying to see how do you how put, get okay. a job here, you fuck face? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, but what I'm saying is, so how do you let a woman know you're interested in her sexual? Because I I would friend zone you. I, right, let's say well, yes, I know the difference on it now. Okay. And so to let them know I'm into them sexually, I would make it known. You know what I mean? How, how do you some, make it known? I you think have it, to be. No, I, th- wait, I can't just. There is no like. Uh, there is no X Y Z to it. There's. It's. It's a is situation it, it, by situation sort of thing. Like it depends how down they are. And it, if you're friend zoning me, I know right away, and I immediately then cut the head off that fucking snake, and I don't let that infiltrate my world you, you can't i don't get friend zoned anymore if it's friend zone it's like peace be with you you know what i'm saying so like, you'll text her like let's say hey you want to hang out tonight and then you'll be like let's hang out at my place like you, you i wouldn't even fuck with a girl whose friend intentions were friend zone unless i wanted to be friends with her of course that's not what i'm i'm pl- friends with plenty of girls but if it's like someone that i want to fuck and i know that they're not into it <laughs> or date or whatever and i know that they're, they're, that's not what they're into i don't even spend time on that anymore that's the difference from That's when smart. I was like 22 uh, to I now. see. So you, you cut the, 
You cut the the yeah. It's out a fruitless quick. endeavor. Yeah. I, I don't even fuck yeah. with it. Cut those so good girls out. If quick. she's yeah. like, hey, uh, there's this movie I really want to see. You're like, just let me eat you. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's a great technique. Yeah. Like, yeah. have you ever had someone go down on you in a movie theater? <laughs> uh, yeah. I've done that one time. Okay. You had the last girl that I had sex what? with before I moved to LA. Uh, I fucked her in a movie. I'm gonna theater. be sick. How did that happen? I proposed it. I said to her. Have you ever, like, because we were listening to the radio and that Alanis Morissette came, song oh came on where it's uh-huh. like, she goes down on you in a theater. I was like, have you ever had someone go down on you in a theater? She's like, no. I was like, that sounds like it'd be fun. And she was into it. And then we did. I forget what the movie was. Ew. Was it an which, empty theater? Wait, hold on. Which it was theater? at noon and it was uh, on like a Tuesday at noon. Okay, where in LA? In Buffalo. So no, okay, before but, I moved okay, here. Good. Empty theater? And it was empty, yes. We got Jesus fortunate in that Jesus Christ. Uh. Yeah, and it was wild. It was so much fun. Good for you, man. I recommend it. You were talking about the porno theaters. Fuck that. Yeah, go yeah. ahead and fuck at them. It wasn't like a children's one. It You're was... like our little fuck animal that, that works here. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a deviant. I know. I, I mean, it's all nice and tidy. It's not like it's... Yeah. Yeah, but her, her vaginal juices are all over the seat. Yeah, they clean Ugh. it up. They, what, no, oh. they don't clean it up. Oh, the floors aren't already sticky. Ugh. Yeah, but you don't want to sit on someone else's vaginal juices. It was the back row corner. No one's going up there. It's fine. I'm proud of you. Thank mm. you. All right. All right. Any other uh, inquiries? No, I'm good. I'm good. Good job, Josh. Thank you. I feel like Any's game is pretty straight on, though. Like you, like he's attractive. He's got, <laughs> he's got a car. He's got a watch. Like Josh said, he's got a car. He's got a watch, he's got a wearing watch. a hat. He's got a whole bunch of things going he's on. He's got a hat. He won't eat a rat for $38,000. No. He's got dignity. No. Yeah. yeah. And he's an obvious choice. Nanton, do you, do you pull a similar game that he's talking about? Uh, I kind of just, I mean, for me, it's the challenge. So if I feel like I have an opportunity and it'll net me something, I just kind of go after it. <laughs> But but he's right. There's no X Y Z. It's kind of like you know per basis. Yeah. So wait. Like but you challenge. want you want it to be a challenge though. Like yeah, if it's yeah, yeah, if yeah. it's like super easy. <laughs> See, Josh goes for the low hanging fruit. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that are like I'm all in, and Emmy is like, no no no, I want that one up there, yeah. and I'm gonna work for it. Yeah. I see. Okay. Well, they're in two different two different leagues here. Well, yeah, but I mean they're both effective because they both get the bust at the end of the day. You know? <laughs> That's right. That's really the goal. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. You're trying to get that nut. Any, do you, what do you say to, do you even have to say anything to women? No. I don't know. There's not like a. No, he's, he's got Do you it. say I mean, like, I see, a, I see a pretty little bitch sitting over here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Who are you? I see you pretty little bitch. <laughs> yeah. You think that's what anybody wants to I hear? mean, actually, I feel like if any said that and I was a girl, I'd be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Oh, of course. He's smooth. He He's could smooth say talker. anything to you. He'd be like, <laughs> yeah. you want to suck my dick here, bitch? Okay. Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> you that that, it, that is actually something I wanted to experiment with. Like, say? Uh, Stop hitting the table. I wanted to see uh, if I could take some of the things that the cool guys have said <laughs> and make it work for me yes. in real life. I think yes. it could. I think it could. I bet you could do that. I want to try it. Yeah. I'm looking for girls for pussy. Could try that. <laughs> you, you think that should be the first one? No. I turn it to a telescope. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that could work for you. Yeah. Having their pussies like okey doke. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Um, we know who's back. I wanted to show you. It's oh. really exciting. It is really, really exciting. You're so gonna love this. Oh, just got out, baby. Salt Lake County. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we off out of here. Hey. Here's my boy. It's the weekend, baby. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> Salt Lake County, baby. We All up out right. of here. Right. We up out of jail. <laughs> that is a time to say we up out of here. <laughs> he got it right once. Wait, I miss. So, <coughs> does he say why he's been put in jail? I don't know. But he's at way. SLC. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Just got out, girl. Let's get it. It's a beautiful day, baby. We doing it, and we moving it, baby. Woo. Wow, he's really fucking stoked. <laughs> he's fired up. Well, shit, he just it got It does out feel of jail. good. It feels good to get out of jail. It but sure I, does. it's still, you know. Woohoo, about here, baby. <sighs> Woo, I did a week, baby. A week? Did a week, baby. Just got out, and we up out of here. 
He said his phrase. All right, Tony. For those of you, Gosh, I've missed him so much. Not not familiar with who we're talking about. Oof, how could this you is think? his original piece. Hmm. You know, like that ass though. Like breakups are hard. Don't get me wrong, ladies, ladies and gents, play boys and play girls. Ooh, breakups are hard, but you gotta realize. Yeah. That ass. Woo! Yeah. You know, a sexy Italian boy like me, the most fucking drop dead gorgeous guy in this motherfucking state of Utah. Yeah. I can get any girl in the state. That ass. <laughs> <laughs> we are out of here. I wonder if. That ass. <laughs> if Potter would adapt that, like, persona if he would get laid a lot. I don't no. know. It's just a thought. I no. think. I think you would. I think you would. He says he's Italian. He's so, the only Italian boy. Josh could be like, I'm the hottest Buffalo Greek boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I did a week, baby. <laughs> <laughs> a week. He did a week. I, I know. mean, that's a lot of time in jail. Well, no, not for a regular person. That would crush me. Well, yeah, no, it's not good. You don't want to do any time in jail, but a week. <laughs> It's like, what could he have done? I mean, I, I bet you he had warrants. DUI. He had like unpaid shit and then <laughs> had to get it figured out. Something like that. You know, it's not, it's not what an actual. What are you saying that? <laughs> it's like, they're What's like. What's he getting arrested for? He probably, you know, ignored his revoked insurance. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's stupid shit. Yeah, it's Yeah, Tony's dumb. on dumb shit. He's yeah. not doing anything real. No. It is, it's well, like. He's like, I murdered a couple yeah. kids. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> dead ass. They dead ass. Yeah. It's not that. It's definitely, yeah, you're right. Insure expired the tags and yeah, he got yeah. pulled over. The tags aren't on the car. DUI. They're like, you're not even supposed to be driving. Yeah. He's like, oh, my bad. He's like, no, you're going to jail. <laughs> Like, well, the, what <laughs> officer please <laughs> dead ass <laughs> but that might be why he's so insistent on you taking your uvas yeah because he has to take the uvas you know true. what i'm saying because he doesn't true. have a license anymore <laughs> that is true <laughs> i love tony i missed him on the gram i can't take your to, uvas i can't yeah. find him yeah he's, uh, a, he, he's I, went, I think he went into hiding a little bit well he's a i think he does pornography what i think so I think he does pornography. What? Yeah. That's the rumor on the gram. How do you know? Somebody sent me um, a DM on the gram. With? Hit the profile that, didn't I send it to you, Native? His profile? His porno profile? No, nah, I think you just sent me the uh, the compilation that I found this on. Okay. There's no, there's porn of Are this you guy? Thinking, there's no porn I didn't see it. <laughs> I thought for sure, yeah. Sorry. Oh, I mean, he was reviewing a fake uh, pussy, but. I mean, I didn't prep that one. Yeah. That's just oh, normal, guys. I just want to say, you know, this message is for Katie. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just got this fresh cup, baby. You know what? You don't deserve this Italian young buck, baby. Because you know what, girl? There's the watch again. I got plenty of girls sitting me up. They like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's amazing. I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm really drawn to Tony. They're like, Tony, I want you to dick me down. I want oh. you to show me a good motherfucking yeah. time, Tony. You yeah. know what, baby? You don't deserve this young buck, baby. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> Katie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You know why I love him? I see him. I see inside he's just a vulnerable, you know, insecure little boy. I see that. I see him as a little child. So you kind of want to, you're like, okay with it. You're like, uh. Yeah, like it, this is innocuous to me. But the guy who's like, I want to lick your pussy. Let me lick your pussy. Okay, well. I don't like that. Motherfucking <laughs> <lips>. <laughs> I'm going to be having girls the whole weekend. They're going to be squirting, baby. Oh, my God. There now, you go. See, now I'm over it. Yeah, I, I liked him, but now I don't. That's what, you were, that's what you wanted. Why the nip stuff? Come on. Nobody wants to see a man playing with his nips. Nobody. They're going to be squirting, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you do you think your boy. That, that's something women really i think as a whole we can agree on no i don't want to see a man pinching his nipples i'm into it you're into seeing other men nip. i love pinch, that older guy who was like oh he's like flicking his nipples that's for gay guys other guys no, like no, to see no, you know i'm talking about like that grandpa that guy was <laughs> <laughs> he was like Ugh. <laughs> that was I mean I, I wish that was on billboards <laughs> when I drove around. I love that guy. Yeah. Yeah. He was uh he was really kind of, you know Tony Johns. Taunting. There oh you go. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Oof. He's oof. Uh, Be gentle, bitch. That nipple, baby. <laughs> yeah. Damn. All right. Fuck. 
right. All right. He needs to be gentler with himself. Uh, feels good. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would rather watch t- oh. 10 guys biting rat's heads off than this. Are we done? Oh, Okie shit. dokie. Okie dokie. I can't even watch it. I'm done. Thank you. Are, is he still doing it? NBC is back <laughs> this week. <coughs> the Connors. The Connors. No, that's ABC. Hey, John Goodman. <laughs> Nipple pinchers. Dude, that guy was awesome. I would love to see that when I'm just driving around. You know? You can. <laughs> You're just not looking hard enough. It's all around No, you. but I want to see it on billboards, you know? Like screens just playing that guy all oh, just flicking, flicking his nip. You know what you can do that for your crowd when they're loading in your shows? It's you can have, have a, these on screens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just him for an entire hour as they load in the audience. And it's just multiple screens of that guy like uh, uh, and the audience is like, Oh my god, what are we here for? We gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. I did some Tony, show. I did a Tony casino Jones. show. I did a casino show like a month ago and I had people because in casinos, what happens is you have your fans buy it, but they always withhold tickets and they give it to VIPs. Yeah. They give it to like people who are just looking for entertainment. So they give it to people who have no idea who you are. Yeah. And somebody told me that I ran into. They're like, man, I, you like five minutes into the show, I hit like a particularly dirty joke. And he's like, as soon as you said it, I saw the row in front of me just pop up out of their seat. They just got up and they were like, nope. Yeah. Don't want to hear this. Yeah. I had a child in the front row of my Vegas show. A, a seven-year-old girl on her iPhone the whole time. I'm like, whose kid is this? And the per- people next to them were like, Ugh. It's so bizarre. I was like, this is weird. Well, it's Vegas. Yeah, Vegas is Please, like Please, more Tony Johns. I, I just um, love him so much. I'm that, so taken with Tony. It. They're going to be squirting, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Young brother. Yeah. I'm my bad. We about to hit jail. <laughs> yeah, cool guy Tony, man. Cool guy Tony. He's you know, face. like that ass though. <laughs> that ass though. The whole oh. persona is amazing. There's also this oh, for time. you, for our listeners. One of the greatest discoveries in recent times is back with something else. I am a very sexual person. 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 So are you. So are you. Yes, babe, so are you. Okay. Nice, huh? You know what to do, Internet. (laughs) So let's have sex. Say yes. Say yes. Let's have sex. Let's have sex tonight. Let's have <laughs> sex. Say yes. Let's have sex. Let's have sex tonight. I feel like. Tonight. Okay. Got it. I got it. Tonight. <laughs> That's Josh Potter. That's yes. that's Josh's inner dialogue. That's it's, really what it is. Let's have say X. Let's have say X tonight. <laughs> say X. I'm gonna make Josh. Let's have say yes. I'm gonna make Josh come out to that every time he does shows opening <laughs> for me. But don't you feel like this is every pop song ever written? Of course, he's it's just really spelling not it that out. Different. He just forgot about <laughs> metaphors. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, no, he's, you're a yeah. horny. I am a very sexual <laughs> yeah. person. Every Prince song ever. Very... Yeah, right. Isn't this the premise of every? Of course, I, I'm down to fuck. But yeah. Like, hey, Who's... could you could you dress it up a little bit for us? <laughs> Let's have say X. Yeah. Say X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. Say X. Say X. <laughs> Remember when that song came out with George Michael? Who sex? Remember that song? I yeah. want your sex. I yeah. remember being like, whoa, brazen. I know. He said the S word. It was so brazen back then. You're a kid. You don't expect it. And everybody was like, he's super strong. Um, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Antonio Clown is a, a Brown is a res, uh, football player. Antonio and, Brown. Yeah. And he is um, uh, a self saboteur. Oh, dear. Who has ruined his career. But 
one thing that came out recently is that he went to get um, his body fat, I guess, checked by one of his doctors, and there's video of it. And, uh, well, here it is. What an asshole. <laughs> I love him so much. My yeah. bad. <laughs> what team is this guy on? Uh, none. <laughs> oh. Uh, I like him. I mean, it was a pretty good far, I have to say. It but was it, really funny. It doesn't really compare. <laughs> to No, nothing compares to this. So that's one thing I can tell my mom she's better at than Antonio Brown. Antonio, you know? but you know what I love about the Antonio Brown fart? Mm. <laughs> Which is what I love in any fart is like he looks at the camera and he's like pleased with himself and he's like, of course. <laughs> my bad. Like my it's, bad. It's so coquettish. I love yeah. it. And that, those didn't <laughs> sneak may, out. May he I pushed see, those out. May I see his farts again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, Doc. Yeah. My bad, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best the smile. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's like Booger from Revenge of the Nerds. It's a smile after he rips one. I burps. know. It's a good smile. That's he pretty knows good. What he, did. Yeah. he did good work. They're little farts, but you know, you know <laughs> that one was tiny. The second one. Second one has a little. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's no. It's no Charles. Fart. It's no. <laughs> Hello, Patriots. There is another <laughs> available talent. <laughs> Her fart has layers to it. It goes raw, like rounds of it. It does. Raw, yeah. raw, raw. It's pretty great. Like it's a panther. Great. Raw. All right. Uh, this is just announced. Very exciting news. I am, in fact, truly coming to Australia this time. And I am adding New Zealand. I've gotten all the jokes that... When are you going to cancel? Um, that would probably be the week before. But until then, it is on the books. I'm coming to Melbourne, Australia, Brisbane, Sydney, Perth, and Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, I'll be in Melbourne starting January 17th. And I will, I'll be out there for about a week. So very excited. The, the shows are on sale now. TomSegura.com slash tour. Um, coming up, let's see, this week, uh, El Paso. Um, Tucson and what has left there's a few tickets left for the late show in Denver and that's it um, and then in a few weeks Des Moines Iowa Lincoln Nebraska Sioux City Iowa Minneapolis and Fargo uh, those are on sale at TomSegura.com slash tour and then of course I do my European tour with Josh Potter we're going to be in Budapest Ooh. Berlin Amsterdam Antwerp Paris London Salford and Dublin and uh, all those and more, TomSegura.com slash tour. Gene? Well, exciting news, Gene. I'm doing a residency here at Flippers in Burbank, California, and I've extended it through December. So pretty much every Thursday, I'll be doing the YooHoo Room at Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank. Very intimate room, only about 50 tickets. That's why I do it, so I can really kind of, you know, lock eyes with you, pet your head nuzzle with you um october 3rd through 5th i'm in nashville tennessee at zany nice um october 17th irvine and the irvine improv october 25th pasadena at the ice house and then november 22nd seattle and then november 23rd portland and that's the year and then we're looking at 2020 now that's fantastic and i just got an update yes. that um i have a contract uh with uh las vegas next year i will be at the mirage um, for a number of weekends. So the first one they just announced is Friday, March 6th. I'll be, I'll be there March 6th and 7th and May 29th and 30th. And that's at the Terry Fator Theater in Las Vegas at the Mirage. Those are on sale today. Or excuse me, but by the time you see this, they're on sale now. So they're on sale now. Go ahead, um, go to TomSegura.com slash tour or just go to the Mirage website. Thank you very much, Las Vegas. <laughs> All right, we're back. 
with one of the best comedians uh, working today. And I'm so happy that you're here. Jay Okerson, oh, thank you for coming. Uh, you this is a long, long overdue. Um, I see you like every, uh, you know, three, seven years. <laughs> yeah. It's always we great. cross pants. <laughs> yeah. Um, has to run. I remember we did uh, Oddball, mm -hmm. um, the, the last Oddball ever, <laughs> because they're like, oh, this is a fucking failure of an idea. Yeah, that was, that was a Sebastian <laughs> year. That Well, he was doing like three dates, right? That was, that was the thing. No, he did a bunch of them, but also Sebastian's audience <coughs> is, man, they are for Sebastian only. Well, that- It's uh, not a comedy audience, right, so when yeah. he was done, they were- Check uh, the fuck out. They mm -hmm. came especially to, what was the beat? Uh, was it Jones Beach? Yeah, it was Long Island. Long Island. That was like the most packed one, and there, and then everyone was like, "Oh, this looks, looks really Italian." And then <laughs> he went uh, second to last. Yeah, he never went like, last. And like fourteen thousand people left. Oh my god! Yeah, and it was <laughs> That's like crazy. it was like Jim Jeffries talking to like a hundred people <laughs> in, a, in an amphitheater. Aww. Yeah, but we did. Um, that was fun. You did. I got. I mean, I still think it's like the hardest thing because you forget it if you don't do it for a while. You were opening the shows in yeah. amphitheaters. So like people are getting beers and like you fucking. I did that for concert, like like music concerts though before. Do festivals, you enjoy so it? That, um, I like the access and like hanging around like you, that you, environment. Like it's worth it comedically. To you. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do it again. I don't think, unless the, like the money was crazy because it was never yeah. a money thing. It was just like you like experience to go do that. Yeah. Uh, in your life, just going tour with like a popular band like that. So that was fun. Who was the band? Did, He's did, done it with a bunch. I of did bands. corn. Just like oh on, a, on just just like a tour of them, they were like the headline, and then I did twice a Mayhem Fest, which was like where Our Ozfest became. Basically. Audience is cool. Like I can see if like being at a show like that, where they might just think it's fun to fuck with whoever's not corn. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. I was afraid yeah. of that. That's why I went so like aggressively at them. Oh, you did. Yeah. So you go up <laughs> there. Oh yeah, I wouldn't just try to go. So uh, this yeah. town's pretty crazy. I'm yeah. from a crazy town. Too. You know, I didn't try to do. I didn't <laughs> no. try to do any introduction of like nothing. comedy. Uh. It was like you know, it's like look at these fucks over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And plus, isn't it daylight still? Um, like on the, it was great. That the, the way it worked out by chance, just probably the only way it could have worked out. The the corn tour was like nighttime only concert. So mm -hmm. it was I'd go up to open the thing for like six seven minutes. Oh, thank God. Bring up like a, a local opening band they would always use and then i'd go up for like 10 minutes while the band the support like, act support act set up uh -huh. then they would go on then i would go out and do like 15 minutes before oh, corn. but by that point the place was packed so it was the best environment to try to actually like get them going and they would actually become good audience in some cases those were good because it was places that were manageable it was called the ballroom blitz tour so they oh. chose to do small venues okay to go from that where some of these venues were a thousand people, uh -huh. twelve hundred people, which is very manageable. To like the first amphitheater one, it was San Bernardino, and it was like, get out there, you're on before Rob Zombie, oh, I love <laughs> and like Rob the people are very excited for Rob Zombie, and yeah. and they yeah. have no, they're like, did a fucking roadie just grab a microphone <laughs> and start insulting my girlfriend? <laughs> I mean, I get anxiety hearing you describe this right now. Like, I, I would lot, have anxiety. Yeah on those oddball shows, watch, like watching you start, because I would obviously envision myself up there, and sure. I'd be like, I'd just start shaking my head like, nope, don't want any part of like people, thousands of people finding their seats, and you're Ugh. still dialed in doing your thing. It's like, amazing also how many people don't, I couldn't do this with the music concerts, but oddball, and I'm sure uh, Brody did this too, because he was hosting the side yeah. stage for uh, years before I did it too, and it's really like, it's, it's what you make it. like Yeah. The, the production itself doesn't have any vibe of like, let's make, it's just, here's all the shit we're offering. Yeah. Check it out if you want. Go check out the small stage. And I would just be like, at 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. whenever that small stage started and I was hosting that for the local mm -hmm. people, I was like, it's really not fair to just like, there's nothing really directing them to do it. So yeah. I'd spend like an hour on the microphone like telling people to come over, tell them that the main stage isn't open and like kind of organizing that. And the yeah. same with the, with the main stage too, they would want me to just be like, all right, walk out there and start talking to the people, you know, like let them know you're the host. And it's like, there's gotta be some kind of like, yeah, like intro to it. But yeah. it's like, let us, let us know that the show has started. Oddball fell apart hard. Yeah. Cause yeah. it was, by the way, it, funny enough, the promoter on that, not live nation, but the actual like uh, independent promoter of it. Mm -hmm. It was the same guy that did the Mayhem Festival. So oh, I, really? I knew the guy around. So they just run festivals that. like yeah, it's rock dude, and roll. John Reese. He looked like a fucking Mayhem guy. He's yeah. the White Shook Knight. That guy yeah, is, yeah. 
it's so funny if you go back and watch Guns N' Roses, like behind the music and stuff. He's all over. He was like their manager through like their heyday. Yeah. And now he just like tour promotes. Wait, what happened to Oddball? So people listen. Well, here's okay. So people don't know. Oddball was like comedies, Lollapalooza, or you know what I mean? Big comedy festival. And the way it works is they book enormous amphitheaters. And the way, the only way to do an amphitheater comedy tour is to have, you have to have a star headline it. Because you're, you're talking about 15,000 plus tickets yeah. a, a city, right? So the one that like- And you also need somebody too, who it's worth it for them to do it on a tour like this. Right. Like if they can be responsible for 15,000 tickets, like they probably make a lot more money just doing it themselves. Themselves, yeah. So and they ended up used to like- be part of it. I mean, they had, you know, in previous years, I mean, Chappelle did, was the headliner one, obviously, right? Huge success. They had um, Louis headline one. They had Aziz. And, Aziz was the final, but like Amy, and the, she was like red hot. So like, you know, the biggest names are doing this tour and it lasts like a month, six weeks, and you hit like all these crazy cities. Well, the, the year that, the, the one that I did it, because I think you did multiple ones, right? I did the Amy and Aziz year, and then the Sebastian so, and Cook. But the, so what happened was right before they, they were, they were like, I was like, who's the headliner? And they're like, uh, we're out to Chappelle, and, we're give, and they're supposed to announce it in August. Like, we're giving them till like um, July 1st to decide. Oh and I was like, goodness. that's a late. Yeah. So what happened when July 1st time. came around, and I was like, so is Chappelle doing it? And they're like, we're going to give him till like July 10th. <gasps> So then, oh, like dear. another week goes by, and then they're like, "He passed." I'm like, "So who's the headliner?" And they're like, "They're out to rock." And I'm like, "What's?" Then it's like July 18th. We're like, "Oh so, boy!" Rock said no. Now what? Well, they think that like Sarah and somebody else might, and then I think the major problem too, not to interrupt you, but yeah. also is the Chappelle and Chris Rock uh, word leaked. So oh, people right. were the the world was getting ready for the Chris Rock. Chappelle tour. Big comedy fans were ready right. for a Rock Chappelle tour by what mm. they've heard is basically definitely happening right and then everybody pulled yeah and then like there was i remember that like they go well there was this like a few dates in florida that you know sebastian couldn't do so for those dates one of them will be gabriel one of them will be regan then we're going to go to this other region and uh you know Mulaney's going to do this date but he can't do the next so there was no consistent no headline. and then we all clear our schedules commit to like 30 dates and they're like we're doing 11 Mm. They cancel like half of them. They cancel yeah. more than yeah. half. Yeah, yeah. it was Jesus. funny the year because when I did it the second year, part of my like nervousness and even going was like, man, it's long. And they said now, because of the success of the I guess the Schumer year, yeah, they're like we're like we're going bigger with this. We're gonna do a bunch more cities. And then they thought they had like you know those names coming on, and they didn't. They had to kind of throw it to the wall with Sebastian. And man, yeah. I mean that exodus oh was God. wicked every night. Second you to would just last, see it happen. Second to last. You were just like ants marching, just like as soon as he says goodnight, like it just a weird. <laughs> They're like shows over. Like no, there's one more. No, shows over. <laughs> yeah. Why, then why wouldn't they switch the order? Is this? It was just that's the demand. I think. It's, I think it's a the contract person, thing too, though. Yeah, I think the person who gets like I think the sweet spot is the second to last. It is because Amy didn't go last. Oh, and yeah. that's odd. That is an oddball. <laughs> uh, 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 John Oliver did. I remember he did. A, he did two dates. And so he Second closed the two last. dates that he did. Okay. Um, no, I don't get it. Yeah, it was just, I don't know. But it was all contract. Well, the thing is, you don't want, I just found that out. We did the Legion of Skank stand up show last night in yeah. the main room. And it was one of those, we want to get everybody on, and a bunch of New York guys are out yeah. here. So we yeah. brought, and by the time, and because the Legion of Skank show, I was like, well, I'll, I'll close it, I guess. And then you realize, when the show was over, I was like, I guess I give myself more of a sweet spot. Yeah. Like, uh, I go out there, the tired. ovation was great, but it's, then I sit down and start talking, you just see their faces like, yeah. yeah. How much longer is this show, man? Much, yeah. We're, like two, we're over two hours in, and you're just like, hey, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, Jeff Ross gotcha. told me on that that I had one of the sweet spots, which was the spot right before intermission. A hundred percent. Same so with Africa. Like, the when show we starts, did that. like you build, build, build. Sun's yeah. going down. Sun's going down, and then it's like, hey, intermission's gonna come up. So people are gonna go away, but they're gonna stay for this one. Like they're finally dialed in. Yeah. And so you get to do your twenty, and then and then you're just like, oh, I'm fucking just done. Yeah feels so good yeah there was a guy we did a tour in south africa tommy and i and a few other people and uh, there was a guy I, the second to last was also the killer the killer. he was a, the look the chris rock of south africa, africa. what yeah. was his Luis name Agola? yeah uh, no, no no it was david cow 
But Luis, wasn't he on the show then? That's a different Luis. Different Luis. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anywho, well, somebody insisted all, on... I get it. They all so. <laughs> uh, he, had to, he insisted on closing out as part of his contract every night, and he would just eat Dude, dicks. He would, have to, he would have to follow. He would, it, it's like would following Sebastian. It's yeah. like following Sebastian oh, in Atlantic City, <laughs> you know, where you'd be like, no thanks, no, don't care what the check looks like, I don't want to do it. It was like, I mean, David would fucking... Oh, bl- he yeah. was not only just killing because he's a good comic, but he was also there, like South African, and would refer, like, make references to South African culture, politics, things in the news, things you you weren't even that aware we didn't of. Even know. And yeah. you, you know, the audience is just like, oh, just like yeah. falling at us, and you're like, oh shit! And they're like, someone's going after this. You're gonna die, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like it was, it was almost yeah. hard to watch. Man. I did a Cape Town festival like years ago. 16 years ago, they did a Cape Town Comedy Festival out there, and it was Jim Jeffries was out there before yeah. he ever came to America or anything. Oh, that yeah. was a weird, like, it is so funny seeing those international, like, you know, guys, big photo op, you have to go downstairs. Uh, Graham Smith is here, so, like, you know, we go down now before he leaves because we want to get these pictures, and we're like, well, I'm like, who is that? And they go, I mean, the captain of the national cricket team, <laughs> Graham Smith, and I went, I go, I, I mean, I'll go take the picture, it's yeah. fine. And just, their you descri- go up to the wrong guy. Like, yeah. yeah, their description though was that, he go, they go, he's a, uh, they go, Graham Smith, he goes, dude, you don't understand, this is like taking a picture with like Barry Bonds. Yeah. And like, well, it isn't because you know who Barry Bonds is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah dude, cr- cricket, you ever talk to cricket uh, to like somebody from, India or Pakistan, like I love it. it. Their um, like Instagram team page following is mm-hmm. fifty times the size of like a Patriots or yeah, you know what I mean, like a, a big sports team here. Or if you go to uh, any like Real Madrid, um, you know Barcelona soccer teams, you, and you see what a what a fan base can be. Yeah, and you're like, there's 185 million people following this, and then you go to. Tom Brady is like six million. You're like, oh my god! Like that's when six million seems like yeah. Pussy. You're like, this guy sucks. <laughs> no one's a fan of him. This guy got shit mm-hmm. going on. It really is like the difference. I mean, you, like the global sports are, it's 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 not even comparable. You know? Yeah, I mean overseas uh, comics too. Like when they're popular, and so, oh, I mean, yeah. multi millions of like that. Luisa Gola name I said. Very nice guy. I met him in South Africa. He's got like tens of millions of followers. What was yeah. the Luiso? Luiso? Luiso, I forget. He's doing really well. He's though. doing great. He ended up being. He was on our show, and this is no shit. We're doing theaters. We're doing Durban, Johannesburg, mm-hmm. and you know they're like twelve hundred seaters, like legit theaters. And you see this lineup of all comics who have been working for years, and he's like, "This is my third show." And we're like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, I did it last week." And then they, add, I did a thing, and then they're like, "Do you want to do the festival?" And you're like, "Really?" And he's a really nice kid. And you're like, "Look, man, just you know, just try and don't don't worry." And then he's like, "Killing for sure." I was like, yeah. "I've never seen anything he like this." He was like this. a prodigy. This yeah, guy. like he's, he's he was really just well. uh, that was so bizarre. I was like, "So, th- so tonight was your sixth show ever?" <laughs> and he's like, "Yep, like the whole week." Um, uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about is uh, so. Like you're you're one of the best comedians. You're one of my favorite comics to watch. Okay, I love right. watching you, and you know you always go for it. I feel like in the last, the shift in the last, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about this. Five to ten years, New York has gotten like so woke about like you know what I mean like yeah. as a city. So how often do you, are you doing like is does it affect? Stand up in that you do things because you go for it, like you really go for sure. jokes. And by the like, way, he we did the degenerates together, yeah. You yeah. guys did yeah, oddball, on we did the degener- de- 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 degenerates, yeah, <laughs> in Las Vegas, yeah. yeah. And did you Which like you can it? Watch did you Netflix. like it? It's on Netflix now. The when it came out, like, were the actual taping itself? The taping, it was taping. a cr- so I thought the crowds were like not that amped up. No, they were <laughs> terrible <laughs> for a stand up like thing. It was like the crowds did feel like they were like subdued for sure. Yeah, it was yeah. terrible. I mean, it went well. I mean, it was fine. You know, yeah, it was fine it enough. Good. But it's like, uh, yeah, it was funny when, when you get out there. That was one of the shows I went at the end and you do have those like, uh, those feelings. It's always funny when you get that when you're like one person does okay, the other person does uh, or the, you know, they're, they're funny yeah. for the crowds like yeah. going, and you go, let me get out there and change the level of this game. And then you go out there and have the same. <laughs> yeah, the same and you go, thing. it is the crowd. Yeah. yeah. You That's never horrible. believe it's the crowd until it happens to you yeah, too. Yeah, and like by the way, the crowd's tired. I yeah. fucking hate okay. the idea that it's never the crowd. 
I'm not one of the people that subscribes to that. It's never the yeah. Like that's some not people true. who are like, it's I never agree. the crowd. No, you, you're true. always you could always like no, that's not true. It's definitely. Also, I always hated the if you're a real comedian and there's a uh, microphone, you'll do it anywhere. Like, no, mm. not really. Nope. One of the biggest bummers I've had is showing up to like just hang out and someone being like, you got to do a spot, and you're like, no, no I, I, I don't. really don't want to. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't like I, that either. I go, like, oh, I thought you were a comic. Yeah. I goes, I am, man. Yeah. Just like, you know, I'm not tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just hang out. Like, no. Or the um the idea of coming off of like, you know, a lot of shows. So mm-hmm. you're like, someone's like, you don't want to do time. You're like, I did eight hours this week. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like it's, I'm it is, like, it's multiple hours. Yeah. yeah. So it's funny. I, it's funny as you're headlining more too that like, the idea of local spots, I do less and less of them, but they are important to some degree. Still. Yeah, no, you, like, they definitely are important. But so I wanted to know because, like, I think of you, I think of a guy that is hilarious, great jokes, goes for it, pushes it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like what I, I, sound, I hate the expression, but like you are, you know, you, you're edgy, whatever, right. the, whatever the expression is. Like, you're you're somebody who I would go to watch because I, I like that type of comedy. Right, right. So does does it happen though? Because my I, my my I feel like New York is very like really the center of of like that's not okay now. Mm-hmm. Do you encounter that a lot? At shows? Do you think no? it's worse than LA? I Definitely. think it's more. I, really? Me, I think LA is way more, more woke? woke. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. In my in my experience, yeah, you know? I think Joe DeRosa said he's getting the fuck out of Dodge because he's like out of here. Yeah, because he was just right. like it's too. He's he's come down on really? too much here. But yeah. I think maybe we're spoiled by the store. So maybe. Oh yeah, the comedy maybe, stores maybe. are pretty much all I do. You know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, New York has been, yeah, for sure. I mean, I was surprised to find out at one point somebody told me there is a, a network of shows that they're calling safe space. I've heard this. Comedy <laughs> shows. I've heard this. But I just, the concept of that is so mind-blowing to me because like, it's, it's just too, like, isn't that subjective? Yeah. Yes. It's it what's is. like safe space to you. So if you yeah. go, so what if you go there, like, I'm going to a safe space comedy show and the comic does something about divorce. And you're like, I just got divorced. Like, a person who would go to a safe right. space comedy show, would be like, nope, divorce, it's too much. Some people in the audience have been divorced. Exactly. And they'll get like that. You're, you're now playing to the people who are watching only to find the reason to hate you. Right. <laughs> it yeah. seems very bizarre. Um, it's hard not to give like any time or, or value to it, but yeah, more so. You think LA though? The skank stuff, how it's like built up. But you guys have best. created a not safe space <laughs> yeah, yeah. following. So then people yeah. go f- for fun. They come for exactly yeah. for what it is. Yeah, yeah they, they, everyone takes it as a joke. I said the problem. I was talking to Burke Kreischer about this last yeah. night. W- what's become weird is when people put their thing into you, like you're raging against something for them. Yeah. So I've had a lot of people, and it's sweet. Yeah. I know that, but when they're like, "Man, say more racist stuff and more <laughs> sexist things and be more dark and yeah. dirty," and when yeah. it, and it's like. And you know, it's like fuck these motherfuckers, and yeah. you'll show them. And yeah. it's just like I really am just writing things yeah. that I think are funny. That's it. Yeah, I just dick around. Like it might be about something as benign as buying a car to yeah. like, or something as raunchy as whatever. So yeah, exactly. It's nothing. I've never done it. Like I've never written a joke that wasn't like super filthy or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I've gone like, wow, it's not really on brand. I'm like, I don't yeah. know. But I think it's funny. Like, think I'll it's give funny it a shot. Fun. Yeah, it's been so. It's funny uh, how much that like safe space and like woke energy has created like these people raging on the other side too for something that's not I did a, a say, like, like, but just watch what you like and well, don't watch what you don't that's exactly are so yes. popular like yeah. what Joey Diaz says when he was here that people are listening to a wiretap it's yeah. the idea that like this is how people talk behind closed doors yeah a lot of us have to pretend to be a lot woker in public <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean I'm serious and then right. you get home on your friend you're like I don't know what the fuck this pronoun shit is I don't know what this is <laughs> what you're talking about uh, but but you joke about it. I'm not yeah. saying you're necessarily hateful. No, no. But like but you're just like what? What is? But going also on? part of it too now is the idea that um, people, you know, people actually are layered and complicated. Yeah. And but in social media or when people like to analyze things, they just like to go like, what was what? What's the thing you said about this? Now I know who you are. Right. And when you're like, but that's no, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a joke about this. I actually have you know, uh, a, a full spectrum of, of opinions on a lot of things. Well, there's a lot to be said for like, hey, interview the person. Don't like just take a, a comic set and start basing everything on off that. Of, I know. It's, I know it's not a great analogy, but it's, I do think it's similar to like running Edward Norton over the coals for his white supremacist beliefs. <laughs> you know, why did you attack that store and go in there with your white supremacist skinhead friends? Yeah. Like, yeah that was a film. Yeah, that was a <laughs> Yeah. 
I was like, yeah, but I mean, you did it, so you probably also mean it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. I um, I just read some oh. review of, of a comedy show, you know, which I I it's it's cra- I always think it's crazy, but like of like a live show, and the review, you know, the person was somewhat informed, but then they're like, at the root of every comedian's, uh, jokes or material is a re- revelation of how they. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a revelation of how they must feel. It could just be that's the best joke they could write about yeah. that thing. That's it. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you have yeah. some where it's like, I think uh, most comedy gets explanatory like that, though, when you're kind of forced to. Yeah. Like you wish, like this hammering, weird direction, off color punchline is just going to get what it deserves, but like, you end up making a point because to get that joke to work, you have to now explain to an audience right. what's okay and why it's just that and I'm a kidding and you yeah. shouldn't be upset. It's bizarre. You know, yeah. we, we have a, a tie-in to the degenerates mm-hmm. actually was that they they asked me to remove one joke, which I thought was crazy. <laughs> Isn't that? The show's called The Degenerates. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know. Robbie oh, I heard about that. this. I never got to talk to you about it. Yeah, I know we never, and, and uh, it was saying the word uh, retard. Hey. On hey. the thing. You used the R word right say that. Now. Sorry, the R word. You used the yes. R word. <laughs> uh, well, but the point was, uh, whatever <laughs> the, the backlash was gonna come from, it was just a preemptive strike because Ugh. I'm saying the joke, but particularly that joke, yeah, there was plenty of things in there. I did a joke where I say tranny that got some shit, and I, they didn't have a problem with that at all. It was that hmm. because of the flack that had already come uh, back from it, and uh, and I just thought it was because of the joke. I said, but listen, the context of the joke is saying that I understand sensitivity to it, but I didn't mean you know. Just, yeah, it's, it's, the it's an, exp- it's an explanatory now. joke that that takes the steam off of anybody getting angry at it. You went and, and it's uh. And they were still like, yeah, context means literally nothing. Yeah. Because all people are going to hear is blah, blah, blah. That's and a, then the trigger word. Isn't that yeah. crazy, though? Yeah. I mean, said, but I've said that in the degenerates thing. I was like, I, it's, I think it's bizarre that if, if you're like transgender people should be murdered and they're grotesque <laughs> abominations. People go, hey, well, transgender, though, at least. That was cool. We gave <laughs> yeah. him the term. You know? gave him the right term. <laughs> Versus I saying like, you know, tra- I said I've had uh, weird things from like women online that have come to me when I said things online like a. Uh, like, you know, maybe it's time for a broad to be in the White House. Might be time for a chick president. They go, broad, yeah. chick. It's yeah. like, I'm saying you should be the president of the <laughs> fucking yeah. free world. This is her the one thing. Like, who gives a sh- I'm yeah. also just trying to pick, like, this is how I talk. I try to yeah. find, like, the funniest, weird, right. whether it's trivializing yes. or right. whatever. It's just trying to be, but it's so weird to be uh, slowed down. But it's like, slows so down your day. Thing. I Dude. feel like the, the, the thing that, like, I've come to, I don't know, have an opinion on about this is that engaging or entertaining anybody who's like chick really that's the problem like <laughs> they're not there they like, the if problem. you en- if you engage it yeah. then then Just don't that's answer the it but the problem is though when the comedy clubs start coming down yeah from it though and they start going like if you could avoid saying chick or broad like, they don't do that no no no, 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 no but i'm no, saying but, but like, it, that it, could it, be it gets Ooh. like yeah. it starts getting like this club doesn't say this this club doesn't is it getting it. have it has it happened i don't know how I far don't... off it would be i mean it can only it depends on the that's owner to owner also some owners buckle hard Mm-hmm. to yeah. the audience and some are like so comic centric so yeah there's um <laughs> yeah yeah and the comic centric ones sometimes go too far but and they, they, you know but, they, they want to be your best friend and also have like a yeah. weird like but you know they, you they think, fight for you too hard i was thinking because i posted something today on social media from where my mom's at where I, I clearly it's a joke and i go you know psychologists will say the best way to motivate children is through fear and anxiety and then i do it a bit and people in the comments are like, oh, well, that's not the right way to do it. Don't you yeah, know the just, D.A.R.E. Yeah. program did it work? <laughs> it's like, can you, I'm a comedian by trade, not a, <laughs> yeah. not a child psychologist, yeah. dipshit. Laying factoids on you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. But don't you know you that? Oh, was my, was my joke incorrect? <laughs> yeah. Right, dipshit. But don't, but don't you think, I think part of that too is people are real. it's really just happening on social media because prior to that, like what you had to write a letter to yeah. Comedy Central it's or whoever. True. And it's really just a way for somebody to steal your light for a second. Mm. Like you've got this funny bit up and then someone can just write something and like, take your energy take the energy from what you're doing it's a way of style sucking it's a, like and a bad sign thunder suck yeah and know? a bad sign for where it's going the comedy cell or new yeah. york and they called me in one time to 
sit down and talk with me. It was it was insane. About what? Jeff Ross and Natal were doing bumping mics around the corner. Hilarious. I was watching that. They oh. told me they were going to probably bring me on. Oh. And the manager of the club goes, they, uh, you know, the booker and the owner want to talk to you. What? And I go, what? All right. And I went over and they, uh, it was a talk to me about a four page letter they received from a 20 year old <laughs> white girl about <laughs> how racist I am. And they were talking and I'm like, it was laughable because you're going, guys, well, I've worked here 14 years. Yeah. yeah. You think I slipped through the cracks in that? You didn't realize that I was a raging racist? <laughs> and they go, well, no, but I'm like, then what the what are we doing? fuck are we doing here, man? Are you going to do this for every you know, girl with a ponytail who walks out like stink-faced? Because it was, it's insane. What made me angry is I know who wrote the letter. Really? Uh, because let's get her. the night, well, I don't know. I don't know her by name or anything at all. They wouldn't give me that. But what it was was when I came off the stage that night, great set of as I remember it was fun you walk through an aisle that's got it's lined with booths so you're seeing some people's back some people are facing yeah you kind of just beeline it through there and figure the most you gotta do is like kind of high five the people that are facing you so a guy that was facing me stood up and he was like you know fan or whatever shook hands and I I try to be nice there that means a lot to me so I'm genuinely like I'm like oh thank you man thank you so much it's so cool you and then a girl behind him was turned with her hand extended and so just in the succession, I go, thank you so much. That's so cool. Thank-. And she goes, you're a fucking racist. Do you know that? And I went, what? And, uh-huh. But I'm, my legs are already walking. Yeah. And she goes, you're a fucking, and then pulled her hand away like, like gross. Don't touch me, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, what? And then I thought, I was like, oh, well, this is like, I'm not going to make a scene in the club. I go, oh, let me go outside. She's going to say something outside, and then we'll make her look like a buffoon. And she came out and just, did, you know, did the angry ponytail swing, walked in to say anything, and left. And I just... No one thought about it again. Oh. Uh, Sherrod Small was calling me a racist outside, hilarious, and just kept yelling that over and over again. <laughs> just yelling, uh, yeah, yeah, just a black guy yelling. Jay, you is racist, <laughs> and uh, <coughs> and it was just like uh, it w- went away. I thought, and then three days later, they called me in. For and did you have a? Like, I mean, I'm, they they dropped it. They literally yeah. said it by the end of the conversation, they were like, "This was dumb to bring you in." I don't. I think they're just frazzled. Yeah, of course. Because, you know, it's scary. Louis, Louis came in the front door and then, you know, there's like protesters. Yeah. Were there protesters? Yeah, but it was like two fat oh. ladies from somewhere <laughs> just like with like homemade signs. And then like, <laughs> but it just, you know, a business gets like wound up over there. Yeah, for sure. It's scary. Know. It's scary to them. What if they say our chicken fingers are bad? Yeah, yeah. Also, what's you, next? Was your was it <laughs> one joke or a time. set? Huh? Was it one joke you think that? You know what I mean? From, from what did her... you say oh, that was racist? I, I thought it was crazy. What I think happened, what they said was, uh, I was talking about a hotel and I said, uh, a Mexican lady has to clean it in the morning. That benign and whatever. Well, factual, quite honestly. Um, but it wasn't even, uh, it was that what I think it was, because I thought it was just this. Yeah. I thought there was someone going to say their anger was about this, but I think they just found something beyond what I said. I made a joke about a hotel room and I said something about a, uh, you know, I always said stay, stay at Trump Tower Hotel. Someone said they were staying at Trump Tower Hotels. I'm like, oh, you guys should write uh, like jizz messages all over the wall and everything. You know, and like Trump, you fascist scumbag. Whatever. And the crowd started clapping. Mm-hmm. And I don't do politics at all. Yeah. I don't give a shit. And I was like, I was like, don't fucking clap. I'm not leading a charge. And I go, I voted for Trump. How about that? I go, is it still funny what I said? <laughs> Just assume I should vote for Trump. And now tell me if the joke was, fun. you know, because I, I didn't vote for Trump. I don't yeah. give a shit about. It. But like. Uh, the point is just being like, I think th- saying that even as a joke makes her just go like, well, this guy's a monster. Oh, for even saying it. It's like, geez. I didn't vote for Trump. Oh I didn't, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm not a Trump supporter I'm, of any way, but I just like, I also at the same time, like, it doesn't infiltrate my comedy at all. Right. So circumstantially saying that one thing, I think is what wound her up. Damn. I mean, because me just going, I was like, don't clap for. But it's also fun for someone thing. like her to uh you know they walk around with these feelings and then to have <laughs> these, feelings. Well, these feelings and then have somewhere to uh, some, something to target because you yes. like if you're like uh, you know she she's mad powerless. about whatever and then it's like that's where to put my energy mm-hmm. that fucking guy who now i know his name and where and like i can write a four four page letters impress a lot it's a lot of handwritten or type i think handwritten jeez wow, pen to paper cursive cool. I mean, jeez wow <laughs> i don't even teach that anymore quentin tarantino over here yeah writing the whole thing That's out so crazy Retarded. and yeah. for people also, <laughs> and also let's say here's here's what kind of but i don't mind if you're sjw if you're whatever but like let's say you were the world's most racist comedian jay okerson big jay okerson the most racist <laughs> And but a good drop for later. <laughs> <laughs> World's most racist. But, like, okay, so what? Don't you have a? And the audience laughs. Let's say the audience 
laughs and you do well, like, okay, like, why can't everybody just coexist? The sure. racists of the world, the, the SJ dubs of the world, the woke, the not like. Just because the thing is, if someone's a racist, like the. Like a real, you don't have the, to the, do the, business with the, them. Let them but I'm saying, that, I'm just saying that, like, what's inside of them, like brewing, will not function as a comic. Right. A hundred percent. That's right. what I mean. It was almost A hundred percent. When Tosh went through that thing where they were like, rape apologist and it's like, uh, the bummer is bill cosby fucked this up for everybody because yeah. my real belief would be you think dan tosh somehow slipped through the cracks as a pro rape person you just right, never right. found out to that one day he had to explode on stage like that right, you know, right. Was like doubtful did you see the uh wait but which, oh, before you go <laughs> one way thought the the thought you just said is so true that the audience senses real hate the audience will not laugh if they sense you have real animosity or real hate in your heart. You cannot it's deliver the joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a joke if it's like, uh, right. if, but, if you But they if you can tell, dude. Sure. They read it. But sorry, go ahead. Just to I make that gonna, point to the audience. I was going to say, did you see when they did, when all that was happening, I think Sam Morell and Tosh both had the shit come down them for rape jokes or whatever. And they were using the term rape comic, which I thought was interesting. Oh, right. Boy. Law and Order SVU. With Jonathan Silverman did an episode of like the rape comic thing. Oh yeah, and they it, did you watch it at all? Ever? Did, was it uh, first of all Jeff? the cop? It, the did the Jeff cop play it? Did Jeff play it on SVU? No, no, Jonathan Silverman. Oh, Jonathan Silverman. Okay, yeah, from Weekend the Bernies <laughs> was the was the piece of shit uh, comic. They had him at the comic strip in New York. The opening scene is this him doing stand up. It's I mean quote unquote stand up <laughs> with the SVU cops are in the front row for some reason. Probably not a good audience for comedy right. in general because mm -hmm. they're all wearing their guns and like pissed in the front row yeah. like, before he even gets on. And then he goes on and they have a guy doing jokes like, uh, hey, you know, if you buy her a lobster dinner and she starts saying no, you could just take it, right? Rape her, huh? And, <laughs> and they're the only four human beings in the world that are going like, I, the, why is everyone cheering? And, and <laughs> like they're raising the fucking roof of this place. And like, they're going so nuts for these nonsensical, yeah. no punchline yeah. jokes. Just rape her. And then the idea is that that night, two guys who leave the show are so inspired by his words, they rape a girl. Uh. And then it's like, is he, the is he responsible for that? And then they do mm. whittle down to at least, at very least, no, he's not responsible for that. Wow. Is what the court case says. However, okay. little side where they where they pull from the headlines and then add a little extra. Yeah, the comic is in fact himself also a rapist. Like then oh. after that, they were like, well, we got to get him on something. Like maybe he'll rape one of us if we go undercover. <laughs> and he just did. He just did. Just tried to, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, awesome. You, oh, this is why you make jokes about it because you're all, and I was, I've never tweeted out at anything like that ever. It's usually dates or something funny if I yeah, can. Yeah. I was just like, that was the most irresponsible thing I've ever seen in yeah. network do. That's really <laughs> The only thing you're putting out there of this kind of story is like, yeah, he incites rape and is a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, I guess it could be a little Cosby wink, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was before Cosby. Oh, really? I do, yeah. I mean, not before the obviously overall. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's going right. on with this guy? His but like before, decades yeah. of raping, you mean? <laughs> yeah. His decades of just nailing it. Years of just fucking... Even I thought it wasn't going to end. <laughs> I'm in my 80s and I'm right, but I'm <laughs> Um, you told me, and I just wanted to revisit that one of your favorite things that you see is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's fart. For the record, 8.57 seconds. <gasps> really? Yeah. You timed it. Yeah. <laughs> Her face is. It's so great, right? <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so happy. I, uh, when we went through this on the bonfire, um, what struck me so hard at first that I laughed over and over again was she was doing something yeah. at that sink. Yeah. <laughs> and everything in the world, her whole world for that 8.57 <laughs> seconds was about that fart. Yeah. 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 Isn't that neat? And then you, the shift of emotion from... She was on a genuine exhale yeah. of like, yeah. thank God that's over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She goes, she was on the exhale of like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then just seeing You it, can see God, damn. the uh, the smile creep. She's, <laughs> yeah. She's so pleased with she, herself. And then it just all <laughs> crashing down. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, Whatever that cost you, I this, know. Worth this it. This past weekend was the, uh, the weekend um, that I flew her up to Foxwoods and 
Foxwoods Comedy yeah. Club, restaurant, bar, and casino. Hired the car service to pick Comics her up. And then had the, uh, gave her her gambling money. She, was she thrilled? She was happy with it, yeah. Okay. She was just burning through it. It was like yeah. free money. Yeah. You did a show out there? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. I had oh, sorry, a long it was the weekend before. fart mm-hmm. last night, remember? It was, yeah. I walked from the bed to the toilet, and it was like a multi-sounding multitude. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you hate it? I mean, it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> Oh, stop. It wasn't a nice experience. Oh, stop it. I've what been with my girlfriend for a while now, like seven, eight years. And uh, oh, yeah, wow. still. You haven't farted? No, no, we have. But like, I don't like it either. You don't I mean, like it? We, we'd, had a, we'd had a nice. Oh, oh, hold on, guys. I'm sorry. But do you fart in front of her? Yeah. I'll tell you do you what, make her I'll, smell I'll, those rips? I'll tell you what. Yes, I have. And yeah. it got to a See? point. I'd say maybe a year ago, it got to a point where just casually and freely I would. And then she also said to her, she was like, yeah, it's like a lot when you can do it. I, and by the way, I'm not like a very like fart all day and fart yeah. loud person in yeah. front of her. I really don't. But just circumstantially, I have in front of her. About, and she showed the slightest dis- disinterest in, or, you know, having a problem with that. And I try now to not at all. Well, wow. that's really nice. Because I doesn't happen even, in our house. I didn't fart yesterday. Yeah, you fart every day. You're always shitting or farting. I mean, everybody shits. Yeah, look. No, you shit all the fucking She's going to have to... Yeah, there's shit sounds. We live in a New York apartment. Uh, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Do you live uh, in, in the city? Yeah, it's so funny too because our the size of our apartment just kind of where everything's set up. You know, we watch TV together at night. Like the only time we can kind of sit there and just relax. Every time she gets up to discreetly just go to the bathroom, it, it's you know I she just wants to go and like go real quick and kind of come back, but I don't want to explain what's happening on TV. Right. Mm. So I hit pause and then grab my phone and then just inevitably from the distance, you're like, oh, Really? Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh. So you yeah. hear it anyways. You just hear a, a sweet girl's voice going like, turn the fucking TV on, <laughs> back on! Don't pause it, I know what's happening! <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh. That's good stuff. Love. I love it. Um, this is the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. So we discovered this um gosh i think it was i don't know it's over a year ago now and then when we played it people mentioned they're like oh jay and dan oh is this good morning julia yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah yeah so people have tweeted us there was crossover that i mean this guy is i mean i <laughs> So I, who you it, you interviewed someone related to was it Julia? Yeah. Julia. We, 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 we found Julia. Julia. We found Julia. That's great. And um, that was quite the experience because first we were probably like you guys obsessed with it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. obsessed, obsessed. Mortified, and then we found, mortified. And then she sent us other videos that he had sent her. Really? Yeah. yeah. So we he kept deep. going. Yeah. yeah, he sent a few. I really love a guy that just <laughs> gives his value in. In home fixer up like handyman stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> great. He's and like, I built this shit from I top to bottom. Yeah. <laughs> the the crown fucking molding, crown molding, the chair the rail, molding. the windows. <laughs> but also he started a whole new lane of videos on your mom's house, which is the cool guy lane. Guys yeah. oh, that yeah. are oblivious to how creepy they are. Yes. Making disgusting requests. Stuff but like I mean that. just for Good people. Good morning, who don't Julia. Know. <laughs> don't know. It's me, Joe. Just wanted to say hi. Hi. Wish you a great day. Tell you that meeting you yesterday <laughs> and getting a look at you was uh, probably one of the greatest moments of my life. You were so beautiful. Uh, you don't know how beautiful uh, you are to me. Everything inside of you. It's so mortified. Uh, are we right that it's a, it was a gym bar? <laughs> uh, like a gym juice gym. bar? Well, it was out. It was what, so there was all these theories. People were talking about here's what yeah, happened. Yeah. There was even like <laughs> online blogs about it. <laughs> like, and when we actually got to talk to her, we were like, what actually happened? When she said what actually happened was when you go to her gym, you sign in. Mm-hmm. Um, so like, I guess a uh, name had been, been seen and that she, she actually was done and she was in the parking lot and he must have seen the name and he was like, hey, Julia. And she was like, yeah. And she goes, oh, like, do I know this guy? So she was like, what's up? And he's like, hey, just started talking to her and was like, asked her out. And she's like, oh, no. Like, I'm not, you know, interested, whatever. She was like yeah. really nice about it. And he's like, well, like, uh, can I call you sometime? And she's like, uh, yeah, give, why don't you give me your number? So he took her phone, puts his number in and calls himself. Uh. So now he has the number. <laughs> and so that's, that's why he was able to send her videos. 
is because he dialed his uh. own number from her phone. Was she afraid? Uh, I think she just thought he was just like, like she just more of a loser than afraid, like oblivious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, it's like, it's like, you could also just go, this guy's just like oblivious and doesn't get I it. I think she was at, in her initial, uh, that the parking lot conversation, she was just like. She was not afraid because then she would egg him on, remember? Well, she and her no, that's, would get that's drunk. later on. That's way later on. When You're they, jumping ahead. Oh, so, You're sorry. Ahead. I forgot You're the jumping steps ahead. to the story. Yeah. She, she, she initially was just like, not, not a worry. This is just a guy trying to, you know, get a number, mm -hmm. get a date, blows him off or whatever, gets the, has, has forgotten gets this and is like holy shit is embarrassed that she even has this <laughs> doesn't sh tell anybody then goes out with her girlfriends they all party she's like you want to see some shit and shows them that and they are just like fucking falling out right and they're like give me that video so then they start <laughs> circulating it gets on the internet and then much later like one of her friends is like, hey, let's reach out to that fucking toolbox that uh, <laughs> sent you and, and try to get him to send you more videos. And he sent one. Well, so he uh, got, let's see. It was got. the follow up is yeah. even gross. Open up your heart. Is it really? Oh, oh, to me in your arms. Oh, God. Open uh, up your heart to me. Let me show you my value as a man. <laughs> So this is the type of guy. <laughs> type of guy you get. I can fix any grout work you got problems with. <laughs> I'm pretty good with a cork gun. <laughs> Gardening's usually for fruits, <laughs> but I mean, you know. All right. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm handy. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's just so. My penis is dick, but average <laughs> length. And the grossest part is like getting to to look at you yeah. yesterday. Oh. Ugh, he's so beautiful. You so I hope you know that. I'm so insecure that I need the like. I gotta be pretty sure a, a girl's going like. I like you. It was funny when someone's hitting on you and you're insecure and, the, and she gives you insecure reasons still while she's hitting on you. She goes, you know what? Like, she goes, I think you're really cute. We should hang out sometime. I was like, thanks. She goes, but she goes, but you know, like John Goodman is like my dream guy for some uh, reason. You're like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've heard, I've heard that exact line. Before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Like I like big oh. so and then when we went home, so I yeah, went I'm home that night. I had to sleep on the couch. Oh please oh, wow. stop! This one makes my stomach <laughs> You're hurt. Disappointed. You got me wrapped around your finger. <sighs> Cute. Months later. That's all you're getting. I'm exhausted. Mwah. <laughs> Yeah. Play it again. I, I, yeah. I love the Play way. Play it again. I love that again. I could see how you feel. Yeah. Did he ever ask her if she wanted dick pics? No, I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I think he was courting her. We don't like have the lady. truck one. His next, his truck one. He's like, "Good morning, my flower." Uh, and he's driving. <laughs> uh, let me keep looking for it. This one's so gross. It's like, see, I'm half asleep on the couch. Uh, <laughs> you're disappointed. You got me wrapped around your finger. Uh, Cute, but that's all you're getting. I'm exhausted. Also, I laid all this pergo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one she solicited. Yeah, she asked for this one. Yeah, she was like, oh, I haven't heard from you in a while, like disappointed. <laughs> and that's why he's like, ah, oh, you're disappointed. You got me wrapped around your finger. You know? You think and his aggressive nature, I bet he's fucked out of his weight class several times, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like yeah. out of his league? Like, for, for sure. sure, because like, sometimes you just go for it. I think some women are like, this guy must, he yes. must have something going on. He's right. so confident. And then the next yeah, morning, th that's when they're like, oh, yeah, this was like in, you know, He's like, I made you some orange juice, and then they're like, oh shit. Yeah, this fresh thing. squeezed. Yeah. <laughs> I made the bowls in a pottery class. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, this guy's fucking well, I'm ready for a zombie apocalypse. Oh, God. Didn't Dr. Drew say that, that he could switch and become mm -hmm. angry and stalkerish very um, quickly? Yeah, what did he call it? I mean, Stalk stalker behavior? Stalker behavior. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's stalkerish in his courting process. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So once again, totally. forget, getting to know, yeah, forget getting to know her and have a reason to believe uh, that he needs to be with her. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a <laughs> parking lot hook. I, that, that also too, the like laugh, the, the put your number in someone's <laughs> phone and be like, "Oh my god, you'll hit me up." Yeah, um, it's so. Ugh. It's always been a dream to have you see some of our most famous videos. Yeah, um, just to get you know, because you're like I said, I just want to show you some of our. Please, videos. you're a connoisseur so, of good things. Here's some cool guys we found. Are you a cum slut? Oh, this Are is you a different. little cum Sorry. whore? Are Not you who I had in mind. <laughs> Are you a cum sissy? Do you um, love watching yourself jizz? I just hope. Uh, Can I say that, uh, that, that with that last video, I don't remember what she said because my insecurity made her just look at that there. falling back tooth because I have one too. And all I do is think about that. I'm like, can I fix this? I guess not. 
<coughs> um, this is a cool um, guy. Who really like um, having their pussies licked. Oh, God. No. I love guys. Like I hate this. the ones that really want to lick pussies. Like, you know what so, I, I love so about personal. this? Is that pretty much every guy has the thought, like, oh, yeah, I'd, I'd love someone with put their pussy in my face or two. But, yeah. like, 99 whatever percent just go, like, I mean, I probably shouldn't put that video out there, though. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm asking for pussy on like, the face. Yeah, I, I should right. probably just keep those thoughts in my head. It's this, this guy, it's, it's the Hail Mary of the fat man, though. <laughs> yeah. Is letting right. me eat pussy. He goes, I'm going to disappoint you with my dick. Right. What you're going to have to see above my dick is going to borderline make you want to run away. <laughs> but if you don't mind staring at my freakishly square head, I'll eat your pussy. Yeah. You're right. It's kind yeah. of the way fat women can always wear shoes, nice shoes. I thought you were going to say suck dick good. No, <laughs> no. But it's the way that it's because shoes will never disappoint. Like he can't right, can disappoint wear a night, you. You can be like, what do you think of this? With his yeah. tongue, you're right, right, because his dick could be uh, tiny. No, listen, or it's weird. not good. No, no, I'll Christina, tell you right now. It's going to be disappointing. Yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> yeah. It's really bad. <laughs> Which yeah. goes, you know what? I know you're not going to believe me. This yeah. guy fucks like a stallion. <laughs> I mean, he never gives up. This thighs for days. I guess carrying around that body. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Wait, you're right. You've just completely yeah. opened up my. This will blow your blow mind. my mind. You're right. This guy's a bad. Lay. doesn't have an eight and a half inch cock i promise no 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 yeah i didn't know that i didn't put this that's, together that's all i really want you know oh god um to be truthful that's all i keep asking god for <laughs> god, I just, god is in honest to god just want to live pussy that's <sighs> that's where my heart's at i can't <laughs> believe you <laughs> yeah. should we add him Yo, to hand, our the god. hand the god i just want to eat some pussy yeah you know what's really neat though is the camera angle's Flattering, very flattering. It's a good, <laughs> yes. a heavier gent. Lord, not. as my witness, <laughs> I'd like to eat some pussy. It's yeah, what no is that? Is he wearing one of those old western at like Six friend. Flags pictures behind him? <laughs> this is me with a mm, musket. I really want to have that done. <laughs> Let me know because I'm seriously interested in doing that like a lot. A lot. Okay. I wonder too, it's like sometimes, you know, they tell you, <laughs> hey, whatever you put out there, someone's going to respond. I wonder if like, if yeah. anyone actually like would see this and be like, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll let that guy eat my pussy. Yeah, I like women with no oh, arms. Yeah. <laughs> Some type of people on TikTok I follow. Or like a chick, a chick that like uh, has like you know her house just smells of animal. Yeah, we were just right. talking yes. about yes. this before you got here, dude. We knew somebody Eddie, who works here. Yeah, said that he went on a date and he was like, he was like, damn. <laughs> He, it, it was a, he was the first time at this girl's place. He's like, what the fuck is that? And then Animal. she was like, oh, I've been meaning to <laughs> clean this up. And then he looked, and it was just a whole strip of dog shit in her living room. On a date. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, I've been meaning to clean it up. And it's like, but who, first of all, who's just like, my dog, you know, my dog has to shit. I usually kind of direct him to the, direct that part him, of the house. Go. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then I know you're coming over. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, nah, I like that. Goes, I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to pick up the shit. He goes, I got lost shaving my toes upstairs. <laughs> Just all things you don't want to hear. Yeah, yeah. You're fuck. like, man. All right. So I, mean, I think I'm getting a little bit of strep in the throat. But, uh, <laughs> I'll suck your dick yeah. after you game for though. <laughs> but when your dog shits in, when our dog shits in the house, I can't pick that up fast enough. Yeah. Like the of thought of leaving not. it there. Of course. <laughs> You're an adult making yeah. decent decisions. Yeah. This guy hasn't made decent decisions. I mean, from like. Drive through orders to wall accoutrement. <laughs> Nothing yeah. makes it. That looks like the, the house of a serial killer. <laughs> but it you're does. right. That is a type of personality where their house smells. Oh, like an animal smell? Animal yeah. pee. You sit on a house and get your way. dick sucked and you come up and your shirt's covered in like white hairs. <laughs> or, or, sorry, that's puddles. <laughs> he sheds this time of year. There, you can be 100%, 100 a type of person. animal lover that doesn't have a house that smells yeah, like an animal. Yeah, we are. Oh, absolutely. You know? <laughs> Yeah, like you, you have to have some self love and care, but no. like, because the idea that you're like, well, I like animals, that's why this place smells like a fucking zoo. That's not true. Yeah, but a monster who has just given up, yeah. and they always, for some reason, their couch is made of lint brush, yeah. like some microfiber that it pulls all the animals' yeah. hair yes, off. Yeah. So you're sitting in like, you are the move balls of hair. Oh, it's ridiculous, man. Oh, that's a whole new. Oh, God. This guy's yes. yes. I'm looking for a white lady. It's tattoo and dominant mm -hmm. and be willing to put me in a dress and beat the shit out of me. Sure, you got Tell it. Tell me, I'm the sissy of Fremont Street. <laughs> in Fremont. Sissy Gemini. 
Again, you stupid white bitch. That's what I'm looking for is a stupid tattooed white bitch that had put me in a dress and beat the shit out of me. Call me. Call me. I've always been... Uh, is there just four? There's slut? four people in the world though that respond positive to this. <laughs> yes. If they happen yes. to catch it, they're gonna yeah. be like, "This guy's she awesome." Goes, she goes, "She's cleaning." She goes, "Stupid white bitch." Goes, what? Is that me? <laughs> it's kind of. I've always this been speaking to me that this Ooh, guy yeah, went Fremont. from. Um, I'm obviously trying to be submissive mm. to switches to being like you dumb. Like yes. he's asking you to be dominant, and then it's he becomes confusing. dominant. You know, is I'm he, looking for a. A lady to beat the shit me, you stupid white He's bitch. antagonizing the dom. Right. I don't I think, think you're supposed to do that. This is he's acting real. He's showing you his range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, but, now I'll be dominant guy. But yeah. Tom, interesting point you brought up on the last video is that we've all had thoughts. These gen all, all humans, sexual humans have these thoughts. But what's the mechanism that pulls that? You know what I mean? The pin that on goes, like, I got it. I got to put my the fucking video phone real yeah. quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, like, what is the switch that flips to action? The sl the sl it, you know what I'm saying? Like, what makes you take action? You must feel like, I, I actually think it's people thinking, I, I got to put this out. Like putting I it out there is, out is there. what's going to actually make it This message is so great. Yeah, it, everything else has eluded me <laughs> yeah. because I didn't realize this was the answer. It's put the, the message secret. out there. Yeah. yeah. Um, these the people secret. are always looking for another <laughs> route and reason <sighs> why this, why their life hasn't worked out this so exactly. Oh. This is, I keep going the bingo on Tuesdays. <laughs> I should That's have the problem. Videos out there. Yeah. Top golf. That's where you do it. <laughs> Bowling alley bar. It's also like this, the the guy in the weird town who like this year found out about YouTube and he's like, "What? You can put, you can control your own and there's millions of people out there that watch these? Oh, I should put these out well, there." Remember you when know? Nikki Glazer was on the show and she was like, "How are these people uploading the videos to yeah. YouTube?" Well, like I don't even know how I, to I don't do know this. if you can pull up Robert's channel. <laughs> Robert Paul's. Yeah, he's, I'm always he's impressed with people who like just, they're at such a level of not give a shit. Like he didn't even get together for the, it's like, oh, let me do this on my way from like taking a shit to putting on my breakfast shirt. And, and he puts it, cause I, I'm always impressed. Like he would meet a woman on a date have it with like a knee brace showing. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like he just doesn't give a shit. Doesn't like give something. It's like fuck. the ugliest shoes, some kind of weird, like fucking spotted up legs, and just like this is what it is. This is yeah. It's <laughs> it's not a good thing. Okay, yeah. this is my favorite thing. So Robert, you guys, uh, the try it out guy, is on YouTube now, and the uh, video <laughs> titles are just code. So he's exactly who you're talking, and Nikki was talking. About. So like his latest video is called five eight seven two six four five eight space one f four eight c and they're all just fucking code like a lunatic. Somebody help! Uh, will you play? What? Yeah, put what's his video there's no description. <laughs> I mean, this is how he's up. Hi, and welcome to Lucifer's Hot Corner. Here I am for you there, Lucifer's Hot Corner. That's right. You know, good. Robert Paul Champagne. I'm here. Oh, don't mind the hair. Well, you know, you got to look good when you go on stage, okay? So so what's going on out there, people? People, what's going on? Uh, hello, Josh, Christina, and Tom, oh. and Mr. Clavicles, and everybody else from your mom's nice. house. Nice. What's going on? And I should say, I feel good. Well, don't feel like going out today, but then again, it's a chance to go out and do something Love and have something attire. constructive. Yeah. All the he these pitchy people. You're this, you're that, you're that, you're this. Because, I don't know, maybe they just get no attention and... I have no time for that, people. God, I have life to live. That's right, life. How long life is this is video? Right point. Okay. It's 10 I'm minutes. Still 10 minutes. Two hot black or Latino guys. Oh, He's still doing the plug. Wait, wait, press play. I got to hear the message. Or you want to, you can move in. I will give you a lease and a key. <laughs> and oh, you just got to help me straighten a little bit up. Oh, and I got a nice up room now. in there. I have food in the house and everything else. And this comes in my heart, as well as the sex part, that. That will work out fine, but you gotta be a super stud, and cause I have a lot of needs, baby, and I gotta make sure that that you have these needs, and we're compatible, okay? I could take a black or Latin guy in, or I could take one of each. Hey, take three, if possible, possibly. I could take two or three guys in, and you'll get a lease and a key, or you can live month by month, totally free. Jesus Christ. My number is 917 Okay. Oh, All right. We're good. So <laughs> he's dressed like a wrestler, Akeem. Yeah. <laughs> that is a, that's yeah. a quite an eccentric uh, shirt or Wait, whatever. Wait, that, that guy goes for it though. <laughs> but, that yeah. guy, but that guy, he's yeah. doing he like what we're talking he, about. He thinks he's looking, yeah, but, but he also 
the difference between that and this. Right. He thinks he's looking his best. Right there. He's trying. Right. In his yes. mind, like, he's it, trying. He picked it up. I, I'm talking when, when some guy at the point of, like, you're right. Just, he's just throwing a Hail Mary. He goes, ah, look, I'll be mean or you can be mean to me. I yeah. just need a vagina in the room. Yes. Yeah. You're Get right. here. I'll give you cash, I guess. He actually like, put yeah. on jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. thought out. Like, this yes. is a person who doesn't give a fuck. Like, Hi. I he won't look so worse loose. when you see him. Yeah. No. Oh. No, he's going to look better. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be like, oh, because yeah, when you are coming Not as terrible. I'll put on pants. Yeah. Yeah. We'll in town, ah, oh, we said we got the haters back again, people. The haters are back. Oh, now they're claiming geez. Tom and Christine and Mister all laughing at me. I'm sorry. I get along with Josh. I get along with Tom and Chris. Oh. There's no problem I with no them. Idea about no, this. you're just no. mad because you are sitting there in the background and That's no one right. knows who you are. That's right, and Robert you, Paul. You tell him. Just want to be clear about something, Robert. I love you. I support you. And one day, a black and or Latino guy, they are going to move in and they're going to live rent free with, with free food and they're going to fuck you a lot. Yeah. yeah. Until you ultimately kill them and keep them. <laughs> Change their outfits every day. <laughs> I agree. Look, we've been putting the call out for Robert Paul Champagne it's, for two years it's now. A, it, this he is needs exact, to find you a black guy. realize that this is exactly what we were just talking about? About like, just put the message out there. Put He's it out doing there. it. Now, I would... He's I would I would give you one bit of advice, Robert. I would maybe start titling these <laughs> and not. I think you'll have a higher yeah. success rate. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I love seven seven CF one four seven six five three eight EKB one, but maybe you do like. It's Tuesday and I'm feeling saucy. Yeah, whatever, right. You know, or he really possibly. caught his rhythm around seven five H one four six. Oh my god, <laughs> this is my favorite fucking new thing that he put out. Just this, it's just a little clip. Attention, men. Coach comes up is here. <laughs> Attention, men. Coach comes up is here. Looks he's like got a Danny Trejo <laughs> character or something. <laughs> he's got so many characters. So yeah, many, like, he's, he's was that Potter getting the nod in that last one? That was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really, Potter, why isn't he on Instagram anymore? Did we find Do out? Do we know about this? What the fuck? There's some. Because uh, he got the new phone. Mm -hmm. He and? can't figure out how to access his old account. Unfortunately, uh, really, he yeah. needs to get back on I'm, the gram. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying to get him. The, I mean, did, but his didn't his account, his Instagram account looked like it was shut down or suspended or something. Yeah, I don't. I it was, and I don't think he knows how to like go through the steps of getting it back on track oh, again. So he, he made a new one. And he doesn't know how yeah. to go live. He on was it. putting his dick on the stories a lot. He yeah, did Josh ever tell you that too, we were almost involved in a, a double vehicular homicide? <laughs> <laughs> that you guys were? Oh yeah. What do you mean? In Buffalo. He was like, I'll give you guys a ride back. Oh, to oh I've had the ride from at Josh. Night, at nighttime, yeah. in a car that was, I can only describe as like a battle tank around yeah. him. Yeah. I think it was a, like a Monte Carlo or something. Uh -huh. But it was big. And uh, we were going, and he was just talking. <laughs> it was me and Mike Fanoi in the car. And there was two black women that were getting into the driver's side of a car, you know, parked on the street. Uh -huh. So they're in the street, and we are as over in the right lane as you could possibly be. And nobody wants to insult Josh mm -hmm. and say, maybe those crazy glasses are for a reason. <laughs> nobody wants to insult, so we're just like, everyone's kind of keeping quiet. Even the black ladies in the street weren't making that big of a deal, assuming yeah. like <sighs> something's gonna change from this imminent course we seem to be on. Yeah. And then way late in the game was like, hey, Josh, Josh, Josh. And then it was like a real like scree. <laughs> I mean, these black women almost like Luke duked over the front of the car. <laughs> And he's like, whoa, didn't see him. And yeah. then he said it was a kept going. Calm was, I mean, yeah. wow. even. I had never, a, uh, no range in heart rate at all whatsoever. Yeah. No, no. He, yeah. I, he never I, saw any of it. He didn't see it at we all. We have the yeah. burden of sight. Yes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he uh, he yes. gave me a ride home in, in the winter. <laughs> yeah, it was like, also winter. We, we had, I think we'd been drinking. He's like, I'm good. So <laughs> yeah, just we'd also in. been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm leaving out pretty important things. Yeah, and then it's like halfway home. I was like, I have a wife. I want to have kids <laughs> a few years ago. <laughs> I just, everything's going good right now. I don't want it to go away. I don't want to lose what I got. And Josh is like, Here, just chill the fuck out, bro. Smoking. Jesus. Um, this is, by the way, the, this guy's right. I'm going to show you on this one right here. Oh, gosh. Is one of my, cool this is one of my all, you didn't play the cool guys. Okay, I've been on here. I've Aww. been polite. I've Jesus. been kind. I've well, been... well, it's important that you, you. I like that he starts by saying, hey, 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 I've been polite. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Honest and sincere. Now, I'd like to have some nookie right on my lips. Ugh. I would like to have some tea.
titties rub my face. I really can't. I would like to have some sex. Gross, gross, gross. I'd like to have a woman in my home. Okay. Who I can make love to. There you go. That's nice. Not like one of these young men or these little boys. They get themselves off and then, oops, they don't care about their partner. (sighs) Oh, I'll make you come. Why does his nose break right in the middle? (laughs) Last lady, 10, 15 times. 10, 15. Before I even went boom once. There you go. His left nostril is definitely a quarter inch higher than his right nostril. You're right. Yeah. yeah. His it whole nose is a uh, fucked up thing. Troubling. All that and pussy that's sat on his face. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Some of that pussy, Ugh. my nose wasn't able to support. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them, we used to 69, no more of that. <laughs> Come across the bridge with them butt cheeks. I got a soft nose. Oh, man. Um, I don't know. Those glasses alone looks like he just came from like a gun range. It does. Yeah. They look like gun range glasses. <laughs> I sent you my version of this, remember? I did, I didn't like it. Nookie. Yeah. yeah. Nookie. Nookie. Ugh. Some titties on my face. I've been polite. I've been sincere. I've played your game, society. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now it's Clouse. time to live outside the lines. Exactly. Yes. Uh, I will murder three hookers and exactly. then proceed off the grid. Uh, is this one? Can I don't we know. Let me just one? brief. <laughs> my name is John Lyu Shipman. I'm looking for girls for pussy. <laughs> I'd love to eat pussy. I Again, mean, I, probably not a good dick, What right? happened? What's to be said for the whole the phone know, up here, I man? I know. These guys are going all bullfrog faces. I know. Yeah, it's not a That's good rule idea. number one. If you're in the guys, <laughs> you're looking for some action. You live in Missouri. No one's looking for fat Please. guys. They deal with fat guys. <laughs> Call me at 157 <laughs> or text me. <laughs> At one six three. Text his oh, text is different than his yeah, phone yeah, number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can call the home line, I think. But if you're texting, you know. Don't use What's... up all my week. <laughs> but do you think he's trying to talk sexy? Is that what? No, that is? no, that's an upper respiratory problem because <laughs> what happens is the weight is pushing down on his throat <laughs> and his chest. And so it's affecting his voice. It's a condition called yeah. meat neck. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not sexy voice. <laughs> There's no not talking like this. For Something's him. coming up or going down. I'm a kinky motherfucker. Of course. Put a sex swing time machine out of beef jerky. Okay, I'm done. Oh, okay. What? I want a girl who can roll a blunt with her pussy. Okay. No. Text right. me at one six or call me. <laughs> I'm looking for a sideshow performer. Oh my god. These are so Come great. On. I haven't seen these in so long. I know, I'm so I want a girl not. who can kill a bull. <laughs> oh. He's slightly wall-eyed too, is he not? Yeah. He's got the Biggie Smalls kind of thing. Do you thing remember going. this? He looks like a like something in Star Wars. It's like one of the not <laughs> human <laughs> things at, at an organization. Yeah. All right, first thing we gotta do is we gotta find the one spot where Admiral question. <laughs> Yeah, where you're like, what's that fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. thing? <laughs> and he goes, it's a captain. A captain? That thing yeah. named captain? Yeah, it's like one of the planets they never really go to, but he's there for the big group meeting. <laughs> yeah, He definitely is a guy, he's upset that they stopped having mom and pop videotape stores. <laughs> VHS rental mom yes. and pop places. Yeah, my God. He was a guy who goes, unlimited porn. They let me bring it all home as long as I bring it back next time. <laughs> this guy really creeped me out. You would be required oh, to, to make daddy come. Oh, <laughs> Is that understood? And it would be done in a way that you want to do either with your body or a friend of yours that's a girl that you can sell a picture and say daddy stroke to her. Yeah. He was I, I else. hate it. This reminds <laughs> me of me and my girlfriend have a, we've gone on a site, oh, what was it called? Omegle? Mm-hmm. Did you ever hear of Omegle? Uh-uh. No. There's like an, a, like an adults section of Omegle. Or there's one where it's like just, it's like chat roulette. Okay. Kind of yeah, thing, yeah. Whatever that used to be. Yeah. And uh, and you can go on this one. You can even like disarm your camera. Because we're not doing it for anything sexual. It's purely, if you go in the adults, it is 100%. Uh, it just goes guys. just be, And there's a, a, a swing <laughs> of guys like beating all the, and then they see it's like this couple like laughing at them. And they're like, so you could do it for 20 minutes and just seeing guys like in their weirdest. Like, yeah. They're already in full flux of beating off and then go, oh. oh. Like we're the assholes. Yeah, like, yeah, sure. Real nice. Real nice. Ruin my Trying to jerk off for strangers, you piece of shit. <laughs> you guys get your giggles like this? We did that one time with uh, like chat, chat roulette, roulette it was, where yeah. what happened was we laid in bed and I would hold the phone to her. Mm-hmm. So guys would be like just jerking. <laughs> and then I would go like, 
like that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get all pissed off. It's so great. <laughs> yeah, it's a good time. Yeah. There was yeah, those videos they have that have got of it looks like it's a like a pussy or something. They're filming these pull back and it's like their armpit. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fun one. <laughs> There's one last guy I want to show you because I used Can to. Can you do not? A, I'm bummed out. No, because really I, mean, I want Jay to show. Me. I mean, does Jay enjoy this? I, I, I've enjoyed these so far. Yeah. Having a good time. Christ. Yeah, What's up on my Instagram, man? <laughs> I'm on a roll today because women are fucking stupid. Okay, they're fucking <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Okay, I don't understand why it's so difficult for good guys to meet a fucking sane woman. <laughs> I don't understand why every woman's a fucking stupid idiot. Yeah, I mean, good camera. Dude, that guy looks like he has a. Uh... Like they had to put on SNL makeup during a short commercial break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. And they're like, it's going to have to do for the sketch. All right. Like it, people will get it. <laughs> it's like a Geico caveman started yep. getting. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. I don't I like don't your society. I don't understand it. I just don't. Do you understand? We are in the situation we are in because woman ate the apple. It is woman's uh, fucking fault. Right. Give me back my fucking rib and go back to where the fuck you came from. Wow. Yeah, yeah this fuck. guy's definitely. He owns. Bone tools. Yeah. <laughs> not not tools for bones. Right. Yes. Tools made of bone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to fucking crowd a good nigga, but meanwhile, you got garbage in your I don't back, even know yo. if this guy's the race Man, that can say fuck that. Fuck out of yeah. here no. with this shit, bro. I'm on a roll. Stay and tuned. The dolls I'll be back. in the background? What's with the dolls? Man. Everybody has their thing. <laughs> That guy's nose stays broken. Yeah, yeah, that's a fucking nose, man. It looks like a character. I know. Like it looks like movie makeup. Mm -hmm. It does. It doesn't look like a real guy at all. But the emotions are real, and that's what counts. <laughs> it, it looks like you peel all that off, and maybe it's like Ariana Grande under like crazy <laughs> amount of makeup. Like she'd be surprised, like undercover uh, boss or someone. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just me, boss. Everybody. I know you're a fan, and I want to surprise you. <laughs> um. Dude, what you guys have done, I want to tell you, uh, with Legion of Skanks is amazing. Oh, thank you, like, man. Like, it's a crazy following, and you guys put on, like, festivals now. It's like yeah, a yeah, Skank, Skank Fest, Fest is a big thing. We're doing it in New York now. Yeah, it's gone. I mean, the first year we had, like, 400-some people in, like, a small venue that just, we did two days of programming, and they came and enjoyed it, and now we're up to, like, from all over the country, like 1,500 people. And we and we, wow. we keep it, like we could do more almost yeah. at this point, but we keep it that, because it is like an, that's sort of the thing. You never yeah. leave a building. It's like right. a ballroom and then a rock club, and it's all in this one building. That's very cool. And it's uh, pretty amazing. Yeah, we're I saw the, uh, here to LA at some point. That'd be, that'd cool. be cool. I saw the clip <laughs> of you, uh, from I think from the one this year, where you guys had Louie come out. Yeah. And like the ovation was insane. Isn't that crazy how perverted like those stories? And I, I said, I, I talk about this a lot. I think like having the burden of perspective, it bums me out more than being there for that. And I would have went outside and smoked a cigarette. It was funny. Soder it was like Dan Soder was like, "Hey, he's like, he's like, let's go watch Louis go on. Like, he's gonna go on next. Like, let's go watch like the Ovate." I was like, "Oh yeah, sure." And we went yeah. up and watched, and it was such a goosebump moment. Yeah. And the, the you know the the venues turned on us since and said that they were afraid to stop that because they were thought violence from the whatever nonsense that would have never happened. No, it would not have happened because to get him off stage, it would have been going to somebody in the back, you know, Christine, my girlfriend, who's one of the producers, or Lewis, whatever it is, and just saying, like, you know, I would be arguing about giving him the light. Does it make sense? It wouldn't be yeah. like a shutdown of the power thing, and, yeah. and no one was upset anyway. The staff there was thrilled about it, and it was such a cool moment in comedy, and I hate that if you, if you live with the perspective that, like, Louis is, like, an incurable, uh, unapologetic piece of shit, you know, if you're going to throw like extremes at him, be like, he's a rape, but whatever it is you think he did, that's so terrible. It looks like it's a room of people like, you know, the people have met that narrative. Like, yeah. so good, you guys are cheering for a rapist. And it's like, he's not a rapist, one. And they're cheering for like this comic they didn't know was going to be here. It's right. a big deal. They haven't seen him in a while. It's like a positive it's a moment. Thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a, like, nothing about it was people going, yeah, this guy made women uncomfortable. But like, yeah. no one's cheering for it. It's not that about yeah. that. It was a comedy thing. And like, I hate that that if you if that's what you want to believe like that's a moment that scares you. you yeah. know, look at everyone just loves them still and everyone doesn't care about women it's just that's not about that. I know. It's, a shame. it's not that. But at it all. was it was an amazing moment there yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It looked like it. It's, it's, I don't know though but honestly like cuz at the I go back and forth on Louis. I can't I can't make up my mind. Sure. Like yeah. I'm so I think conflicted it's fine, though. <laughs> and like you know, I, I just I don't know where I stand. And then and then if he'd pop up at the comedy store, how would I feel seeing him after all this shit has happened? What do I you don't mean? Know. How do you think you would feel? I don't know is what I'm really? saying. Yeah, now I'm. I think you'd be fine very quickly 
You know what I mean? I think he's one willing to discuss it if you want to discuss it that bad. And I think he doesn't make he, – he, he does he makes apology, and I think he genuinely is like, yeah, man, I didn't know I didn't know how much I was fucking up. Apparently I was fucking up. And he, yeah. I think he's like uh, as made as amends as he could. I understand also just being like, yeah, but in my world, I check out on that guy. Yeah, sure. yeah. I think that's fine too. Yeah. Just, I just think like no, I don't think anyone that support. Again, it goes to like that kind of sycophantic thing that you worry about. When we said people going like you got to go dirtier and darker, it's like right. people that get sycophantic like yeah, fuck the haters and just like just let the guy do I got, comedy. I got yeah, a message. Like, Look, he's still I, talented. No, yeah, of course. hands down, one of my still yeah. favorite comics. But I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want to work with him. Oh, if you're at the store, I don't fucking know. That's Sorry. fair. Go ahead. What no, no, I was saying I got a, more to what you were saying. I got a message from somebody who was like. Oh man, I was at the show. Uh, you know, it was a good time, but I was I was really hoping you were gonna uh, piss more people off. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, what? He was like, you know, that's why I come to your shows. Like, <laughs> not even realizing that would be a bad show for you. You'd be like, right. even if you got the person to some degree or made them look stupid, there's still something like. <sighs> Yeah, like I hate that there was somebody in the audience. Yeah, like that was pissed. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not never trying to piss off an audience. Never. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you're having fun with what I'm doing. That's the goal. Boy, I know? have a. I said this to Bert yesterday too, and I was thinking the, the bummer of that people getting angry at your comedy is that like I have such a boyish innocence to the act of stand-up comedy, yeah. even though the things are obviously not childlike. Just when I go up there, I go, man, I really hope everyone likes me. Right. I hope when this is over, everyone's like, that was so funny and fun. Yeah. I don't care if they come up and go, I really thought about some shit up there. I don't yeah. care about any of that. No. I just like, man, that made my good. You know, yeah. uh, you guys, this is a very popular show. The thanks people give you from just entertaining them yeah. while they do their mundane thing. is crazy. Or even if it's an important thing, but they have to drive three hours yeah. a day. Or whatever, it, 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 how much it means to them is such a cool thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because yeah. there's shows that I listen to that get me, like, you know, I'm a huge Stern fan. Yeah. Oh. Howard Stern. Yeah. Sick. Uh, every, every, minute, every, every minute of every week, I, I, I <laughs> through, the, through the course of a week, I listen to every minute of Howard Stern and then all the Sternthology yes, stuff. Me too. It's what I, I fly with and it's everything. It's the background, yeah. of my, I say it's the background music of my life. So I get that <laughs> the fact that we're that to somebody else. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it's, I it's know. Pretty, I, that hits me in a me way where I'm too. like, that's awesome. The other one that gets me is. Um, you know, like you'll scroll through messages and you know, a lot of times it's like, it's fine, it's nice and you're like, cool, you know, someone's mm -hmm. like, I saw the thing, I, I laughed at this. But sometimes people are like, I've been going through a really bad period and what you, you know, your comedy or something was the light of my month. Yeah. Those still, those, those get to me every time. Yeah, you absolutely, know? people, yeah, I've had all kinds you of. You know, when they're like, I'm depressed, and then the, and then the like one thing maybe want to kill myself. And then I, the I, sad I'm ready to die. I've had real I'm serious. ready to die. <laughs> I've had real serious words like, I get dialysis every day. Oh. They've given me seven months, and still I let. You're like, yeah, oh. yeah I, know. I know. And it's like, is there I anything know. I can do? Like, you could fly out to Illinois. Like, no, no. <laughs> no. no, I'll just do the show for you, man. No. Yeah, and that show's gonna rage on for you. Yeah. After yeah. that candle burns out. <laughs> no, no, they'll, they'll be like, uh, can you come meet me? I'm like, no, 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 I'm not gonna. Like, <laughs> I'll go if you go to the stage door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I happen to pull up. Yeah. I'll put my arm out. Yeah. And I'll high five yeah. you. I'll, I'm fine with waving. If you want to wave, I'll give you a wave. You know? <laughs> not a personality wave. champ. Waves are nice. Definitely um, not a personality champion. Oh, man. Oh, and I'm I'm sorry to hear about David. Oh, uh, yeah, man. What, that's a, what a crazy thing to even know someone that happened to. I can't believe it. It's one. Of the, I mean, I've never, I didn't know him or anything. Yeah. But the whole story is is like beyond comprehension What's so, do you guys have like, have you guys had living nannies ever something like that ever uh, uh, no no, no I mean, but we've had well, I mean you know we, we, we've been having you know we've had two kids mm -hmm. and we're very busy and so we've had people spend a lot of time you know like sure. sometimes overnight on, on certain occasions and um, yeah no I, I, the whole story Especially is with just the all, with it being like an all pair which I found that the difference of that in the nanny recently yeah. is that it's through a company it's like yeah. everything where you're like it should so be on the up and up with everything, you know, and just like, she's a wacky boyfriend. And this is like you know? your, this was your manager. My manager, yeah. Yeah, for eight years, man. It was a bummer for sure. But like, just intense. It was such an intense thing for me. It was like uh, to be frazzled, like, just how fragile it all is. You yeah. Know? Like, it's, a, it, it's one of those that really hits you. It like, hits you, I think. Giggling with a guy. With you, it's Three like hours before, and then, you know, him three giggling. Three hours before. Yeah, I said, you know, it was interestingly, uh, I thought it was, we it's probably just come stoned out here nonstop in LA. Yeah, 
but they they just released the uh, footage of him, of the the guy who did it, who killed Dave, uh, going to court mm-hmm. for I guess uh, his indictment or whatever, or his arraignment, and he goes in and it's he's just wearing like you know dress clothes, and he's like hair is done. I just it's, to think that you were involved in such a a psychotic event, yeah, the murdering two people, yeah, and then at some point that morning he had to be like. <laughs> like in right. a mirror, like you know, like like tucking a shirt in and yeah. be like, no, it's like this. You is know, there it's, a like, blue? How, it's like it's like yeah, a blue shirt. It's yeah. like the fact that anything normal, ha- you know, picking up a fork to eat a whatever. You know, it's just such a crazy like that's cra- for people that don't know, like are listening. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like you know, your manager and one of the owners of the stand, right? Yeah, um, he's one of the owners of the stand uh, comedy club in New Jersey. He went home uh, a couple weeks ago one night. His uh, live in all pairs family wife and kids thank god down the shore and uh he went home from the comedy club that night he was going to meet his family down the shore the next day went home went to sleep and then the nanny's boyfriend she broke up with him he wanted to kill her she had given him a key no one knew about and then he went inside and like uh, yeah the bummer of it all is like i remember someone saying and, you know i i say this half in jest but like is the truth I remember everyone's first question like was he fucking the nanny (laughs) and I go I hope so (laughs) I mean that'd be my I was like please tell me there's some crazy reason why and and because it wasn't it was just like while he was sleeping like let's let me get this out of the way so he doesn't stop me from doing what I want to do which is fucking crazy it's like Oh man, not even a reason. It does. Yeah, it's, I mean, I think not it, even. Not, and he didn't. And the, and the guy in his confession didn't even say like, <laughs> "I think there was something up." He said like, "Needed that to get handled, so I can, so I can not be I, bothered while well. I, uh, while I kill my girlfriend." And they, had, she had just broken up with him. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I know the crazy <clears throat> thing for you know for you it's a, it's a friend, it's an intimate crazy um, relationship like that. Like when I hear it, beside it being like a crazy violent thing that mm-hmm. you know you don't want to hear about yeah you start thinking about because we have fit kids and you know with people and you're just like it's like a nightmare man how it's funny my daughter's almost 17 now right we have young kids so, so yeah so sometimes but, but uh and then when uh when she was younger though just me and my ex-wife just were good at like our schedules just worked we never hung out with each other it's probably why we're not together anymore yeah but like we were good at like it was parent all the time in some way of the swap but when you can't do that man it's like People have to have, you know, baby. Uh, my, and she has a, my daughter has a sister. Her mom had another baby who's four years old. And like, you know, if it wasn't for my daughter, the good news is my daughter is 17 there. So she can kind of babysit for things, you know, so you yeah. don't have to bring a lot of strangers in. It's got to be like, it's, yeah. I mean, w- w- if the, if an all pair process of paperwork and all that stuff isn't keep you safe somehow, like, well, it's a freak situation. Obviously. It's a freak, yeah, of course. but it's you also. You never want to say it's something that, all, that I mean, it's. It's it's unlikely it and that guy to just, just fully confessed. He's like, oh yeah. I like, think from what I read in the paper, like yeah. when he did, he and then pleaded not guilty, which is that's <laughs> always good. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's also an abusive boyfriend sitch. I have a friend in high school. Her sister got beaten to death by her boyfriend in the bathroom. Like, it's not, I don't know if it's having oh, an pair right. in your you family. I remember the, we ran into her mall. at the mall, oh, and she's like, my sister just got beaten to death by her boyfriend, and we were like. I, like I'm trying I to think go to, we're desensitized to violence to CPK enough right can, now. Act, can, can take action on it. Say it again. Like I'm desensitized. Like I said, do you think we're desensitized to violence as far as like being able to act on it? Because like I, I'm desensitized short to whether it be pornography, violence from the images you see. Even like I have a hard time. Like I can't. I will turn away now. If like those, remember when the, when the beginning when the beheading videos came out. And oh you yeah. See, I had to kind of look. Yeah. Yeah. And then can't watch it. It only takes like one uh, of like, seeing what ha- how real it is. You go, yeah, I shouldn't have watched that. Right, it's like so. I don't like gore. It's so fucking yeah. real. Yeah, I also feel like those story. Like usually, when you read a story like like the story we were just talking mm-hmm. about. It's somebody you have, you know. There's no connection whatsoever. You read it like it's right. news. The closer it gets to like you know, now, you know somebody that knows somebody. Mm-hmm. Then those start to affect you more. And yeah. it's funny too about uh, how jail. Oh, has always seemed in my life a lifetime in jail has always seemed like a fair punishment for not a fair punishment like a just punishment like put this guy in a box threat but yeah. when it is close to home it's funny to start think about like uh if this guy ever just giggles at a thought in his head mm. or overhears a tv episode of mash playing on black and white tv in, yeah. a, in the common area like it's too much 
Right. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, man. You're I don't want this guy to have any will, joy. He will experience, your mind will adapt and he will experience joy again at some point, which is right. odd. Yeah, that's funny. You know, that I so it's odd how much that hits when normally if somebody, if I had no attachment to a person, go like my my friend's sister was just murdered in a situation like that. He goes, yeah, good. The guy will rot in a box the rest of his life. Right. And now, and you're, now like, you're like, no. no. He might play chess. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't want this guy to learn the guitar. This guy's going to get mm-hmm. a degree while he's locked up? <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. I also have zero. I think I have zero forgiveness for something that. But in fact, I think I could accept forgiveness with still like just punishment, like equal punishment. Like, yeah. So I, if I, I'm not the family, but like <laughs> putting myself in the shoes of that. If 20 years down the road, this guy's done a real turnaround and just realize how crazy it was and how he can't believe he has a hard time living with what he did. I go, that's fantastic. I believe you. And still, like, I would only be asked to get into the room to accept that apology to try to get at him. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I believe, I go, yeah, I believe your apology. But it's like, I, but you should die. Yeah. Like, you should have to die off. No states really light people up anymore, you know? I know New York doesn't. And, you, and uh, it's Jer- this is Jersey, and Jersey doesn't either. Uh, I mean, Texas, aren't they still do it? Yeah. They're still toasting people. They figured it yeah. out. Yeah. They'll do it right in the jury. <laughs> That's the last place you want to fuck around in this country mm. with a crime, like a violent crime. If Texas gets you, I you're mean, done. I mean, you for, are done. Forget a violent crime. Yeah. Smaller crimes. Yeah. Right? I have a buddy who had like less than a person's worth of mushrooms for one dose. And it's like, he's five years probation. Wow. So it's just like, you know, yeah. the end of the world. But I mean, what he had to go through to just get to that. To get that, yeah. Fuck that. Is uh, nuts. Not you should be able to give the lethal injection yourself if somebody murders your family There's member. a petition for that. It's on uh, <laughs> right? change.org if you want to sign. Don't yeah. you feel like that would make me feel better? I bet I it wouldn't, though. That's really? what I, I, think think it, so? I think it sort of wouldn't. Yeah, anything where you've seen like that where I've watched a bunch of documentaries about that before any of this happened just on the ID. Cause I, I get that, too. It's like, good, you should want to see them dead. But they always go, it doesn't make anything better. It's just like, yeah. it's mm-hmm. like you start thinking then about like, well, even this guy's mm-hmm. a piece of shit. His mom is sad still. That's yeah. true. I had an initial uh, reaction to that I thought was weird. And then I changed in like under a minute. Just this range of emotions I went from finding out that his mom was helping him try to get out of the country uh, after he did oh, it. The guy oh, really? Dave, yeah. He tried to mm-hmm. get, his mom's trying to get him out of the country. And I go, well, that piece of shit should be brought up on charges and everything. And I go, ah, you know what, man? My mom would probably. 100%. Yeah. I think if I called and I was like, I mean, I, I'm sure he didn't call and goes, like, I did it. I murdered him. I'm yeah. sure he was like, I fucked I'm up. I'm in trouble. I yeah. fucked up. Yeah. Like, I just did something. So, and she was like, I think my mom, my mom would have like second thoughts as I was gone, but her immediate thing would be like, protect my baby. Of course. 100%. Of, yeah. of course. Get the fuck so out I, of I here. So yeah. I fully get it because you're like, well, there's no reason. I don't want to lose my kid. It's like, there's already so much loss here. So Where do you like, go? <sighs> Where would you escape to? He was heading to Mexico. Yeah, that's the place. What right? does she have ties there? Maybe. I think yeah, they're they're all. In Spain. I think they are. Like, I'm really? not gonna tell you guys where on the podcast in case. Damn, <laughs> you're, you're really planning. You better believe it's it. It's definitely man. not gonna be Juarez, Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> <Not, laughs> we're on a small plot of land for some very low pesos. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. I, I, deep I, Europe, I, deep Eastern Europe, somewhere. Oh yeah, no one's going there. See here, Mexico's so accessible. I know. You go, go to like the Ukraine or something. They're just like, Later. we'll never see that person. I got again. some relatives. Yeah. Get you out. Yeah. Can you just run over the border to Mexico? I know no one does it. You can. You can walk. <laughs> you can just go, right? You can walk. There's a bridge. And you don't have to go through like a gate of like a person walk. You can just adios go. amigo. No, it's literally <laughs> it's a it's a yes, it is a gate in Tijuana. Like you just go from San Diego, you just walk across the bridge. Now you're in Me- welcome to Mexico. Now coming back in, that's, that's a different story. That's, that's when passport. they stop you. Mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> they'll let anybody to Mexico. You don't have to show a passport to get into Mexico. No, they use uh, later. Maybe they, maybe they do now. No, I, I didn't. No? I used to that's just awesome. go right in. Yeah. They don't give a shit going in. It's like, you sure you want to come US. in here, man? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have Come it. on I've never, in. I've never been to Mexico. Yeah, I've always just believed the guerrilla warfare, violence in the streets <laughs> that they no. say is always going on. I mean, it is, but it's still <laughs> it's an it's a massive country, and there's a lot of places where it's not going on. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, but just so. when they go, oh, any of those, I, I've been asked. You know, my my ex wife is Colombian and Argentinian, mm-hmm. so my daughter's been going with her to those places for the longest time, and I've just never. I just picture it's exactly like a. You know, an early two thousand Schwarzenegger movie. So yeah. Jungles yeah. Yeah. and and people who are wearing army uniforms that aren't in an actual be. Uh, army. Oh yeah. Uh like taking you somewhere against yeah. your will. Yeah. Is she from Columbia? No, she's from but her mom is her mom still lives yeah. uh, lives there. Little part Kali. Uh, Medellin. Really? No, she's uh Santa Marta, mm-hmm. which is like nice. Oh, but, that's uh, nice. But, uh, fine. 
But any country where someone goes like, oh, they go, you'll be fine. Like, uh. you're not a, if you were, and they go, if you were like a well from like a wealthy family in in Colombia, like maybe, or if they you were a celebrity's <laughs> kid coming out, they knew that, and, and I go, yeah, but maybe they just throw anything at the wall, like grabbed up the white people, and they yeah. go, your family rich, and I go, no, and they're just gonna kill me because I'm yeah. gonna say something. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, who knows? Like it could be that. Like uh, I used to, because I used to spend a lot of time in Peru, and they would just always be like. Uh, don't wear the watch. I'm like, what? <laughs> they're like, you know, it attracts attention. I'm like, all watches? <laughs> or they're like, just no, that w- that watch. Just get a get a shittier watch. Have and then place like Brazil where you got to watch the kids. You got to yeah. watch it for the children. Yeah, are going for you. Patrice O'Neill famously had that. He they went off resort to get food, mm-hmm. and uh, some kids asked Patrice for money. I mean, he said like children. Yeah, asked for money. And uh, he was, didn't. He's like, no. He goes, what do you? But he goes, he didn't give him money, but he bought them all. It was like a hot dog stand. Yeah. He bought them all hot dogs. Mm-hmm. And when he said, and Patrice told the story when he pulled his wallet out and you know gave the cash for the hot dogs, the guy who was like their guide ran over to him and he was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're out of here. We're going back to the resort right now. And I was like, you can't pull your wallet out like that. Oh, These kids are going to tell more kids, and they're going to come back and try to do something. Oh yeah. Oh, like, right. He goes, you just got to be waiting for it. And these these like little angel face kids that look like that are coming back with a problem. It's yeah. Weird. Jeez. Yeah, that's true. That's I mean, true. that's why we got to fucking go down there and bomb these fucking countries. <laughs> <laughs> just these one, just, just, it's gypsies. Good, yeah, just one good backhand and let yeah. them know. You stay in line, we'll come visit. Um, Jay Okerson, you can see him live. Are you have uh, any dates coming up? Are you going to be? Yeah, I'm in uh, Hyenas, Fort Worth, Texas this weekend. And I have a bunch of stuff. Chicago coming up, a bunch of fun. BigJComedy.com. Oh, BigJComedy.com. One of the best comedians oh, thank working you. I feel the today. same about you, man. Thank Actually, you. Hilarious. But Christina I also thank the you. was We, so did, we both did you. such a great job. <laughs> <laughs> we both really changed shit that day. <laughs> Tom almost beat up some uh, crew guys. That's right. Yeah, I was eight months pregnant. A door almost fell on. It's one me. of my favorite uh, positions to take about talking terrible. about comedians is when someone's like, uh, "Who's your who are your favorite comics?" I'm like, "After me, I would like." Uh, <laughs> I like who would I like? Who would I like? I like me. me. I like me. some of the stuff I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I've inspired a lot of people. The following. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, you really are so fucking. Wait, funny how long are you in L.A. for? Uh, doing spots. Yeah, well, we're doing Goddamn Comedy Jam tonight. Oh, that's fun. Nice. It's going to be fun. Are you going to, what song are you, you going to do? We're doing two uh, 90s rock hits, Cracker Low mm-hmm. and Bound to the Floor Local Age. I believe you, can you sing? I bet, I bet you can kind of, yeah, I bet you can kind of sing. Carry a tune, I think. Yeah. Now I want to find out if I could hip hop dance. Oh. Nice. We're going to get the challenge going either way, man. I think we just do it. <laughs> um, and then, of course, Legion of Skanks. Check it out. Hilarious podcast, live shows. Yeah, Bonfire yeah. on Comedy Central Radio, Series With XM. you and Dan. With Dan Soda. Soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I appreciate it, man. Thanks yeah. for such a long time Thanks coming. For coming. Yeah, yeah. Man. Thanks for coming, man. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you. Bye, guys. Thank Bye, you. Moms. Hey, can I top you off, baby? All right, story time. <coughs> so me and my friend were at a party. My friend out, and he met a chick. And he took this chick down to my friend's basement, down the house, you know, and gonna go do the chicken wong wong sure and so he's down there and they're getting in the mood and he said why do I feel like there's a log in your pants you know ah, that's not that ain't it you know he pulls down the girl pants with a seven inch wong on it and he ran out and he ran out of the house and oh, I'm not gay I'm not gay find out the guy named Susie Nick named Susie This is what I'm doing.
Walking down the road in clown makeup and hogs walking behind me. Walking down the road in clown makeup and hogs walking behind me. Walking down the road in clown makeup and hogs walking behind me. Walking down the road in clown makeup and hogs walking behind me. This is what I'm doing. Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jean.